Welcome, everyone. Uh, we are doing a impromptu game of uh, Karen, I believe. I still have not learned how to pronounce it. Uh, mm. We are uh, wife's out of town, so I decided to do some pickup games this week. And this is one of my favorite one shots uh, systems. So we're going to be going into it. Uh, and as always with Karen, one of the cool things, my favorite things about it is you can build a PC in like five minutes, if that. Uh, so the crew is rolling now. They've rolled some of their stats already, and we're going to figure out what type of PC they've got. Uh, and then we're going to dive into our adventure. Uh, they're going to be going up uh, into the Forbidden Forest. Uh, we're going to figure out why they're going to the Forbidden Forest as well uh, before we dive too deeply into that. Oh, actually, one thing while they're still rolling, I'll give a shout out to you. I'm going to throw the link in our uh, for the VOD in the description for this. Uh, but I just found, I don't know if it was, they did this before last time I played and I just didn't look at it. But um, if you go to the KRN website uh, and look for the book, there'll be a link to Amazon where you can have them like print you off a little copy for like five bucks. And I think your Prime, they sent it to you for the Prime stuff. I think it was Prime. I didn't really pay attention, but it was like five bucks and you get to have your own little copy of the book. It's very small on my screen right now. It's a little pamphlet or a booklet, uh, but it's cool. I always like having a hard copy for everything. So definitely cool. And I'll throw that link in there and it's super cheap. So go pick one up if you like it. Uh, but uh, I'll take a check here. Is anybody done with their rolling? I'm nearly there. <laughs> oh, sweet. Well, I'll keep talking. Uh, I have so two things left. You guys are rolling quick. Uh, sweet. So yeah, so with this too, if you've never played Karen before, it's one of the kind of the old school, um, they both have like different names. I think the old school Renaissance is what I usually go with, uh, but it's just an old school style uh, kind of dungeon crawler where life is cheap and death is around the corners. It's a great one if you've never, if you don't have like a game, your crew cancels or some people can't make it, but you still want to play. It's like the perfect game to just pick up and go with because you can roll your PCs in five minutes. DMs, if you're used to improvise, so you can improvise the session pretty easily. And one of my favorite things, especially for the OSR genres, uh, first off, Karen's is completely free. I, I bought the book, but you can get all the rules for free. Uh, and they're one of the few, too, that give you a whole bunch of monsters for free. Uh, and nice thing, too, is if you play any of the other OSR games, like uh, even Morkborg or especially Into the Odd, you can use the monsters from there, too. They work just the same. Um, I've used them for, for both uh, systems there. Uh, so check that out. Um, last thing I'll shout out before checking back in with the crew. Um, I haven't backed it yet, but I saw Nave 2. Or they're doing a Kickstarter for Nave Yeah, two. second edition. Uh, so I, I'm probably going to back that, and I don't know how much of this. And I was like a mixture of Nave and Into the Odd. Uh, but I haven't played the original Nave system, so I'm definitely going to try back uh, the, the new edition coming out. Sweet. Uh, so I'll, I'll check in. Is anybody uh, ready to announce their PC? And one of the cool things with Karen, too, so one more thing before we turn over to the PCs, uh, is I love, and this is one of my favorite things, Into the Odd actually has it, too. I said in one of my reviews they didn't have it, but it's in the way back in the appendices, where I never go into the appendices. Uh, but uh, the Karen has uh, a personality generator, too. So if you are playing a one-shot, you don't want to come up with your own concept for the PC, you can kind of roll through uh, and get some cool stuff. And that's why whenever I play Karen, I always do the rolling for it because I think you just get some like interesting combinations and some fun chances to RP something that may be a little bit outside your wheelhouse. Oh, and shout out to Jay. Uh, he just joined us too, and he's got a, a bunch of the supplements and a t shirt too. I have to check, I have to look at their store. I'm not really going through their store. I'll set too much aside of finding the booklet to see if they got a cool t shirt. I like the logo they've got for it. Uh, but with that, I will turn it over to the PCs. Uh, who wants to go first? Go ahead. I was just, I was just trying to scroll through this thing, um, but I can go fine. Yeah, sure. Peer pressure, uh, do it. <laughs> I'm playing Wenlin Tolman, uh, who is an outlaw. Uh, she wears um, just you know a helmet and a brigandine, um, and wields an axe. Uh, you know, just sort of rough and tumble. Uh, chilling around. Nice. Uh, what's a little bit of her personality? I didn't get to roll that yet, but you oh, know, no we're going to figure that out <laughs> as it goes through. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Shy, I'll put you on the hot seat next. The hot seat. The hot Love seat. it. <laughs> 
Love it. I actually mentioned it here today. I told you guys about it, and I loved it too much to not use it. So my character's name is... Woody Lumber. B. Lumber. The Forest. <laughs> so definitely leaning into, uh, in, into the forester, ranger kind of character idea. But I did roll for my personality and my physique, and I, I have a flabby physique with dark <laughs> skin, filthy hair, gravelly speech that I won't be able to keep up with, frumpy clothing. I am humble but bitter, respected but disowned by my family, and so far I have a large trap. <laughs> Contradictions, they're respected, disowned. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'm still trying to figure out how to make it work. Well, your voice will hate you, but I bet we'll have some fun with trying to figure out how to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, to digress a bit, I had a, uh, a uh, NPC that I made for Invasion that I wish I did not make him as prominent as he has because he has a, a voice that, uh, that hurts my throat. And he just keeps <laughs> coming up more and more. And no way to kill him off. <laughs> but last but not least, uh, Dave, you're up. Uh, I will be playing Drellil Crumwaller, who is a miner by trade. He has a, broady, a brawny build with a rosy face, curly hair. I'm sorry, uh, uh, not a rosy face. Uh, what was rosy? What was rosy for that category? I don't remember. Whatever it was, something about him is rosy. Skin is rosy. There we go. A perfect face, a precise <laughs> way of speaking, but is filthy, lazy, considered a loafer by his peers, despite being disciplined, and is apparently cursed. So these doors kind of make sense. So you're just a, a dirty, lazy, pretty boy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm going to have to have you guys say your names one more time because I've forgotten everybody's already. Uh, Wenlin. Wenlin. All right. I am Woody Lumbar of Woody the Lumbar. <laughs> Drellil Crumwaller. You can call me Dre for short. Dre. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, well, we've got our PCs in there. Uh, and actually, one last thing. What is your highest stat before we go? I'm a willful man of the forest with a 15, nice. but I didn't roll under 10 for anything. Nice. I've got 15 <laughs> on decks. I have uh, 13 on decks. Perfect. Well, you all find yourselves uh, in the just little squalid town with really kind of a, a cantina dispersed amongst it, people milling about. It's mostly a mining town. Uh, mining, bit of logging, just kind of mostly lay people. But you guys find yourself in the nicest house in town. The house of the warden. Uh, this house is intricately it stands out for more reasons than one. It's the house upon the hill. It overlooks all of the, the shanties below it. Uh, it is built uh, out of a mixture of brick and fine wood. Uh, it's ostentatious in an area where there really isn't much wealth to compare it to. Uh, but you all find yourself there uh, at the invitation of Warden Viston uh, for an exciting, what he says, is an exciting job opportunity for the, this band of adventurers. Uh, you're escorted through uh, by one of his servants who opens the door and you see kind of this Pretty like pretty wood that you've never seen before. It's like a mahogany type wood. It has like its own kind of almost glow within. And you see it lining the floors, uh, just intricately carved, uh, just glowing slightly as you walk in. Uh, just really kind of giving almost an otherworldly feel to this odd mansion. Uh, 
But as you're escorted in, you find uh, the warden sitting behind his desk, uh, a plump little human uh, with a kind of grayish pale skin, uh, saggy face. Uh, and you see he's uh, kind of chewing uh, on a piece of chicken leg as you guys walk in. Uh, and he goes, yeah, 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 sit up, sit up, sit up. We got to hurry through this. Got some business to take care of. Uh, he kind of looks amongst the group and he goes, yeah, got an opportunity for you. Uh, you know, there's a little sanctuary that you know, popped in. We've, we've just kind of sprouted out of nowhere. All these trees, they just grew up and uh, there's some good good business and there's good business in there. I just want you all, you, this is going to be overpaying for your skills. Just go in there. There's a golden tree in the middle of the forest. Chop that puppy down. Bring it to me. Uh, and out, you just go in, chop the tree down, bring it out, and I shower gold upon it. Golden tree, how big is it? Because I don't think I'd be able to just lift it out on my, I don't know, even between the three of us. Fortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, it's not that big yet. Uh, but actually, a little bigger than a sapling. Two people should be able to carry it back. It'll be a little sore, but you'll have gold to, to make it worth your while. <laughs> I take my payment up front. <laughs> and, and, I, and he says this while like worshiping the wood that he's that is already in the room. Uh, uh, buddy, uh, I've never, never seen anybody is, worship my, my, my floor before. Wood. This wood is glorious. Oh, yeah, we, this is, we got this batch from inside that little sanctuary too. Glows. Whose house has glowing wood? My house has glowing wood. Uh, but hey, you guys go in there. We, we just need to get that golden tree. But there's other cool stuff in there. Uh, we found plants that heal and uh, wood that glows. Uh, you, you just gotta. I would just say, be quick about it. You don't, you don't, you don't want to stop and smell the roses if you, if you get my meaning. <laughs> yeah, Why would you not stop and out. smell roses? They are fragrant and glorious. Well, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job, but stop us. Butch! Stop us. Well, yeah, we will be on the clock. The faster we get back, the faster we will get paid. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm not sure that I really want to do this today. I had other plans. No, no, no. <laughs> Why'd you show up then? <laughs> <laughs> well... You know, someone said there was gold of a possibility, and this just sounds like too much work. Going into a forest and then just grabbing a some golden sapling and then bringing it back? I, it sounds too easy good to be true to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He, you know what? I do know. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Don't you want a big a businessman would not lie to us. I do want a, a big businessman pile. is honest and gives us good opportunity. We shall take the opportunity. You don't know me because my family disowned me. But the people <laughs> wow. from the forest That's that I idea. live in, they respect me. So you should respect the words I say. You know what, buddy? And I do. Uh, if all the peasants had a go-getter attitude like you, you wouldn't be peasants anymore. Uh, but yeah. I'm not a peasant. I live where I want. In the mm. forest. I speak for the trees. <laughs> he kind of seems puzzled. You think like a little bite of his chicken. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, you, you speak for the trees. Can I reach his food? Because I might just want to take something off his plate. Yeah, he's got like a overladen plate with like a uh, half a chicken on it, uh, potatoes, and he is just snacking on it as he's talking to you, like real grubby fingers, dude. I'm I'm just gonna take one of the one of the legs of the chicken, I'm just gonna tear <laughs> it off and say, "Yes, a good Ooh. wood," and just start eating it. <laughs> he, he like he watched you do the Surely whole thing. you don't need like, an entire disbelief completely he's like his, his eyes widened and it's like what uh, oh okay. take it all take just take it all Jeez. 
yells the chef, give me another chicken. <laughs> and I do. I just take the entire plate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys. And, you know, there, there's some rumors. I, I won't lie. I say they're not rumors. But, you know, people, you know, some people get superstitious. Uh, there's rumors people like the trees move. Wolves mm. bite. You get lost forever. <laughs> superstitious nonsense. They say the goddess doesn't want us in there. I don't think that's true. But I got this floor from in there. You guys are expert adventurers. I believe in you. I don't know, man. I'm already cursed. I don't know that I want to go pissing off any goddesses. <laughs> Can Take he curse twice? You can't get recursed. I know that. What? that that's entirely wrong. That's entirely you can absolute I had I had a brother once cursed three mm -hmm. times. Three times. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean you maybe it just gets like yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. To that? I was part of why he was cursed three times. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. The goddess can likely you remove your curse. I I don't think she's there, but yeah, maybe she could. Uh, uncurse you? I mean, maybe give you some soap too? I don't know. <laughs> hey, all this filth is from doing my honest work in the mines. We'll, maybe we'll walk through a, a stream or something. I don't know. <laughs> if we find a waterfall, I shall not only bathe underneath it, I shall look behind it because there is always something behind a waterfall. If video games have taught me anything, there is always something behind a waterfall. Typically, yeah, it's usually, stone, um, perhaps some soil. Yeah. Yes, that is that is what you usually find. <laughs> I will give you that. There's there's always going to be something behind it. <laughs> I'm already well, right. You, are, I mean, it, just a walk through the forest, uh, and when you come back, gold and and buddy, I'll get you your own chicken that you can put your grubby mitts all over. <laughs> I, I'll just stick with the gold for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's been pleasant talking with you. Uh, you can see him like uh, rifling through some papers on his desk and he pulls out a map uh, and he hands it over to you. And he goes, this is where the sanctuary appeared. Uh, tons of trees, wicked looking trees. You, you won't be able to miss it. Uh, just head north from the, uh, the camp, probably about a mile or two of walking. And the sanctuary will be out of you. Yeah, easy, easy going. All right. Uh, well, we will see you hopefully shortly. Is trail mix provided? Uh, <laughs> we started with three. <laughs> we're going yeah. for a we're going for a hike. I'm wondering if trail mix is available. He provided uh, perhaps you in I... the form of the chicken that you took from his table. Uh, yeah. I think you've gotten enough from him. <laughs> you got chicken I was also head. wondering about maybe a trail. wine camel pack. If they had that available, I would take that. <laughs> you see, he just shakes his head and goes, just take, take the wine and potatoes. Off. I mean, just eat that along the way. You can, take, you can take the plate, too. I mean, I don't want that plate anywhere near my other silverware. Uh, just take it. Eat along the way. You'll be on a trail, and you got your own mix of food. There you go. <laughs> what more could we ask for? <laughs> All right, we'll be going now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel bad. Every character I play has this effect on the people around me. It's unavoidable. <laughs> and and he and he just takes the tray. And says all of this insanity and character. So he it seems absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> he carries this thing out. Look. Well, uh, and if one of you is looking at the map, he's probably like looking over your shoulder, being like, "Ah, yes, I know that place. I can get us there." <laughs> well, we do have a a map, so I appreciate that. And perhaps you can guide us if we misplace this map. All right. <laughs> what's uh, uh, Woody Lumber? What's what's your strength? My strength. Ah, yes. This is out of character. I'm curious what your strength is. Oh, um, out of character. Um, sorry. Uh, I don't. Uh, in character, my strength is eleven. I am an eleven strength, twelve <laughs> dex, fifteen will. All right, got it. This is back in character. 
you can get us there. Great. Carry me. And then I jump on your back. <laughs> I am okay with this as long as I don't have to drop my uh, chicken. And he just and he just keeps he just carries him the whole the way in front of him <laughs> while, while holding the chicken. The, yeah, I'm holding the tray in front of in front of you while you're carrying me on your back. Rotate it. I want to try the to bite of the potatoes. Him, I'm afraid <laughs> because I'm I'm lazy. <laughs> Perfect. Roll me a strength save as you guys <laughs> um, gather and eat your chicken and uh, give uh, uh, Dre a piggyback ride. Uh, two two questions for my character. Um, mm -hmm. One, uh, I forgot how you roll in this game. Is it a d20? Is it a few d6? D20 and you want to roll equal to or below your score. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is an eight. So I succeeded at that. Um, and I noticed I haven't been asked to roll the fortitude save yet. That means that the chicken probably isn't poisoned or badly cooked. <laughs> A, he, you see how much that guy spent on his house in this like backwoods kind of mining town. He's he's eating well, like probably too well for where he is at. Uh, so it's probably probably very probably one of the best chickens and kind of dishes you've tasted. Hmm. Bad news. I rolled the dex check. I rolled an eighteen, so I dropped the plate of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> But you all are able to... Um, I need eat. to save to catch it. Oh my God. <laughs> Natural one, I catch it. <laughs> so you all are dropping and catching chicken uh, as you all are uh, leaving the mining town to this... Uh, following this map, and you see that even the map is recently drawn. Uh, and as you get closer, uh, you see kind of this... Area used to be just kind of like its own little road. It was used to be kind of mostly open meadows and prairies. Uh, but as you see, you start to get kind of closer to the sanctuary. You start to see like twist, twisted plant growth uh, kind of eking out of it. And when I say twisted, it doesn't look like spooky or it doesn't look like harmful. It looks kind of bright and vibrantly colored. You see kind of bright greens, bright purples. Uh, it looks like very luscious and alive, uh, but it does have like this twisting, curling, spreading uh, kind of appearance. Uh, and you see with the spots marked on the map, even like probably about half a mile before that, you start to see those twisting vines making their way out from this recently appeared forest sanctuary. Uh, but as you get, or actually you guys, what do you all do when you see the other vine? Anything, or do you keep walking along? <clears throat> Let's um, probably keep an eye on that. <laughs> Not looking to get uh, poked by some terrible, twisty, sort of purpley sort of vines. <laughs> Perched upon my mighty steed, I notice that the vines are... Seems like we're noticing these vines earlier in the... Um earlier than we should be based on what the map is showing us. So looks like the forest is growing rapidly. It does. And you see, it's about half mile before the spot that the warden marked on the map. Uh, so it does look like, and you, you'd probably have a reasonable guess to hazard that it, it's expanding and growing out. And especially with these saying that the forest suddenly appeared out of nowhere uh, but yeah, you guys are able to continue walking. You see more of these vines. The closer you get, you start to see some small trees and saplings. Uh, but eventually you do reach the forest itself, or the edge of the forest, I should say. And you see just enormously tr tall trees. Trees that, for Woody, uh, you feel like this forest should have been here for centuries. The way these trees are arrayed and with your connection to the, the wood, as you say. Uh, but yeah, these trees are arrayed out. You see their leaves are just intricately colored. And not like just the typical greens and browns and reds of trees. You see mixtures of violet, uh, orange, uh, gold, uh, just all these different colors. Uh, it almost seems like each of the different trees have their own color within. Uh, and the, they're all so close and densely populated in the space. It's hard to see deep within, but you do start to see kind of trails of fog at the edge of the forest, seeping out and dissipating as it reaches the edge. Not gonna lie, guys. I wouldn't mind getting lost in there. That place looks dope. 
I could live there for the rest of my life. This is all. I think I just found my home. <laughs> Y'all can take my share of the gold when you get back. I'm not leaving this place ever. <laughs> can I get that in writing? <laughs> I I was never not taught how to read and write. No. Just uh, relationships. <laughs> yeah. If you just want to put an X on the line here. <laughs> I might know a druidic language, but I couldn't. I, I I am told, though, that some people will, like, make a thumbprint. I, I can do that. I can give you a thumbprint okay. signature. We'll uh, we'll work it out once we sort of get past all of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there, you said that there is, like, this dense fog and stuff, right? Yeah, so kind of dense trees and foliage. Uh, you guys are kind of at the edge of the forest where kind of mostly it's like the vines and some saplings mm -hmm. eking out. Uh, but you do see a fog kind of that almost like it flows into the edge of the tree line and then it like bounces and then goes back, recedes back in. Uh, are you guys heading into the sanctuary forest? Stupid question. Mm -hmm. Have I finished my chicken yet? <laughs> I I feel like we've been walking for an hour, and I it's, actually it's only a mile a that... <laughs> in that amount of time, and just like set it and let's like set the tray down somewhere and keep going. Oh, yeah, you pop. I mean, I imagine that Woody's a hungry dude, so uh, a mile, uh, even with a mile with carrying somebody in your backpack makes you a little bit slower. So uh, definitely gives you enough time to to finish that chicken and be fully energized for what's Jesus. to come. I um, feel well rested, and I go straight into the into the mist. No, <laughs> no Perfect what? Oh, do you, the I honestly want to live here. This place seems awesome. Why wouldn't I just go right ahead? I'm literally <laughs> out riding on his back still. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You have the, you have the ability to jump off. You don't have to go where I go. <laughs> I'm lazy and He's I found someone way. to carry me. I'm, I'm, I'm coming with you. Okay, he Watch goes in. He goes in with me. I'm hold I'm holding on to his leg so he doesn't fall. <laughs> Perfect. Well, as you all enter, everybody give me a will save. Oh, I'm good at this. I'm not. <laughs> Asset seven. That was a fail for me. Natural eighteen. I fail. Oof! You had a good will too. Right? I got a fifteen. I, this should have been easy. Well, well, Dre, probably the comfort of having somebody carry you across just gives you a little bit of time to feel pretty secure uh, as you walk through in the fog and into the dense trees uh, and into this magnificent sanctuary reserve. Uh, but Dre, not Dre, uh, but Woody and Winlin, uh, you all kind of like a buzzing at the back of your ear. And you kind of like turn around and you don't see anything. And then as you kind of start moving again, you'll hear that buzzing. Uh, and it's like kind of like just the buzzing. And you feel like breath on the back of your neck. Uh, you feel like, and, and Woody, you spent some time in the forest. You, you almost feel like something's like hunting you. You feel breath on the back of your head neck buzzing in your ears uh you feel you feel just watch that lizard part of your brain where you feel like something is watching you something strong is watching you we played a whole campaign like this oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like, what? Just bringing I'll it back watching you <laughs> uh, um okay so the first thing i do is I sense, I feel like I sense danger. Like, I want to live in this place, but, you know, there are still, like, lethal things that might kill me. So I toss, I toss my uh, my package, the man I'm carrying, I just throw him <laughs> off, and I immediately, like, spin around and try and see what it is that's, that I sense. You all look around and you don't see anything, like especially nothing behind you, except for the 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 kind of the array of trees and kind of the full fog receding in and out. But as you guys kind of step through the fog, uh, you see a luscious forest around you. You see life teeming within. Uh, you see kind of uh, different like rabbits and squirrels and a lot of small animals uh, running through. Uh, definitely a lot more and like more 
more and more quantity than you've seen in typical forests, uh, kind of just maneuvering their way through. Uh, and you see just <gasps> rows of trees. Uh, just the... I have an idea. Sorry, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. So, sorry to interrupt. No worries. Um, so I see lots of animals around. Any of them look smart? I mean, as smart as bunnies and rabbits can look. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No animals with capital A's. <laughs> Bear with me on this idea. I, when I was doing my initial rolling, I found a spell that I don't know if I'm ever going to use unless I'm just staring at an animal. So I have the spell Anthropomorphize. An animal either gains human intelligence or appearance for one day. So <laughs> I want to see if I can find something that looks friendly and cast the spell on it. Is there anything nearby that looks friendly? Oh, Will's perception. Give me another Will save to see if you find... You don't you find animals around. This is more to see if you find one that looks friendly. Friendly. Uh, so this is a 7 out of 15. Perfect. Yeah, you look through, you find uh, kind of a, a little rabbit uh, just kind of munching on some leaves near a tree. Uh, it's kind of eating and watching you all. Uh, and some of the animals that kind of skitter around when you guys come in. But this one just seems to be eating and watching you all uh, and has kind of just a, a laid back demeanor about it. Wow, that one's really chill. <laughs> really chill. I cast the spell on this cute little bunny. Sweet and um, with spells, I think you have to for... roll something. Let me make sure. uh, Doomer, do you have to roll something with spells? Spells, I believe so. Um, I think it's a oh will, gosh. right? I think it's a will as well. Yeah. All right. So, so you're yeah, will's your strength. So roll me a will as you do this. Let me. Uh, uh, Seven hundred fifteen again. Sweet. Uh, and read me that spell one more time. Okay. Um, pull you back up. Anthropomorphized. An animal either gains human intelligence or human appearance for one day. So I like pick this little this bunny <laughs> up if I can. Yeah. I look it in the face and I like cast this spell and it suddenly it has human intelligence. All right. Giving you it the burden of human intelligence suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> you you cast it on this rabbit is still kind of like it's, it has like a leaf half in its mouth, uh, but as its eyes go wide, uh, you kind of see it like it's still like, like its eyes go wide. You see it kind of tense for a moment as the magic works over it, uh, but then it goes back to its relaxed demeanor, uh, and it goes, "Hey, you guys probably shouldn't be here." What? 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 Oh I'm no! Talking? I'm, talk <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, man! Oh no, man! It's cool. It's cool. This place is dope. Uh, I like it here. Wenlands. I really wish you had said, "Hey, what's up, Doc?" Be here. <laughs> I really Wenlands John just sort of goes slack. <laughs> you know? Just, just like both with you know the shock of like you know having this <laughs> this rabbit start talking, but also just like <laughs> the, the response, you know, just like I, I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it's, it's rabbits are cool. It's fine. No, but I'm sorry. What did you just say, uh, Mr. Rabbit? He's only got a day like this. Come Is on, this man. Rabbit? I, well, I, I don't have a name. I feel like I should have a name, but yeah, dude, I don't have a name. Um, yeah, you all shouldn't be here. This, I, this, uh, she's trying to get mad. This place wasn't meant for tall folks or you people. Uh, it's, it's meant for us. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> <laughs> Is it because I'm tall? <laughs> really, I can do some amazing things. I think I can be a real asset to your kingdom if you don't have a lot of tall people. I think I think we can make this work. I mean, I guess you could go talk to her if you want to, but... Yeah. Uh... Really? Wait, I think that would be a great idea. Better That's than right. just trampling in there, right? Which who are we talking about? Are we talking about the 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 goddess that was was rumored to be here. What who are you referring to, Rabbit? She's a goddess of nature, right? Uh, yeah, She's I, dope. I, I never heard the word goddess before, but I mean that kind of makes sense to what she is now. Uh, 
But yeah, I mean, she's just we, the, the lady in the tree, as we call her. Hmm. Oh, I like this less. Uh, I would like her. All right, mm-hmm. uh, show us the way, please, Rabbit. I mean, I, I'll tell you where it is. I mean... Are the, you afraid to go there yourself? Uh, no, a lot of tall people get killed out here. Uh, and I... This, there's some really good leaves back there. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm just going to think and eat some leaves, I think, but I'll tell you where to go. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Great. <laughs> I'm not gonna make uh, make you come with us, unnamed <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I only have one of these spells. I would, is this consumable? Uh, I think they are consumable. Okay. I think it's three uses. You only, though, don't you? Buddy, uh, I don't know if spells. If that's, I don't know if that's a spell uh, thing. Is it a is it a spell book or a uh, a scroll? Uh, the it's... thing I rolled, I think it was it was on the item list. Okay, because a so... scroll is is single use. It was a single use, okay. And a spell book is not. Oh no, use. I I actually did roll a spell book. Oh, then eighteen to twenty, and oh, then I just you're... rolled on the spell book table and get, got the anthropomorphize. Okay, the only thing is. Um, the thing that would prevent you from just spamming spells is that um, when you cast a spell, uh, you add one fatigue to your inventory. Um, and then if you fail a will save when you're casting a spell, um, you know something bad would happen related to the spell. Um, so that's sort of up to up to our benevolent GM. <laughs> <laughs> and you're lucky I'm not the GM because I'd do some demonic stuff to you. Uh, they, okay. They suggest that it's it's uh, related to whatever the spell is. So yeah, maybe I don't know. The rabbit comes uh, becomes sentient, but it hates our guts. <laughs> Something you weird. Become the rabbit. Or you become I, uh, the rabbit. I'm on for the holy grail. Just <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on forcing this guy to do anything. And be like, hey man, uh, that's cool. Uh, just as an FYI, this is only gonna work for a day. So the kind of smart you are right now you're gonna only have that for a day so really really make use of your time right now man well i was gonna eat those leaves i mean that sounds like a good plan uh, if you were smart for a day what would you do i don't know eat like that all the time <laughs> <laughs> uh, well uh mm. you know what i would try and find a way to make my life easier in the long term when i wasn't smart anymore so like maybe work on making myself a house or like store some food or something, you know? Grow a garden of those good leaves over there. Oh yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice if those just happened to be nearby for like the rest of your life. Uh, okay. Well, well, maybe I'll be, if you guys survive, maybe I'll have a house. Uh, I'll help you out, man. All right, I'll hook well, you up. Well, you sure I'll you don't want to come with us and be a and translator? If we don't survive, use our rib cage as a house. Pro tip. I've got other ideas too. This is part of why she's going to want to keep me around. <laughs> right, well, maybe, maybe she will. Maybe she will. Uh, well, uh, good fortune to you all. Uh, take a leaf if you want one. But uh, yeah, <laughs> for the road. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yep. I absolutely take a leaf for the road. <laughs> But yeah, he, he and he gives you directions into the forest, uh, and basically, uh, not super complicated. It's kind of through. Uh, he tells you kind of in this little rabbit speak. So you got to, oh yeah, you got to hop under these uh, trees, the fallen trees. You got to go around these bushes. Uh, basically, it's at the center of the forest. Uh, there is this golden tree, uh, and next to the golden tree is a large oak tree with the lady in the tree built into it. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. So the, basically, it kind of gives you guys a run through, uh, and you take a look at your map as well as his directions there. Uh, and no, it probably be a dense travel moving through the forest, but not that's not too far away. It's probably about two miles at the most uh, going through this preserve. Uh, so it should be pretty quick if things work out well. Cool. Yeah. Well, onwards and and what have you. <laughs> Perfect. And what's marching order? Uh, I think we said um, 
what, uh, what was the name again? Woody? 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 Something like that? Woody Lumbar, right? Think it right? Woody Lumbar Forest. Woody forest. Lumbar of the Forest. There, it's funny that you ask what the marching order is because there's no way I'd let anyone walk backseat drive at the map every now and then, but I just head straight in the direction that I was told to. Oh You're like, come on, everybody, catch up. <laughs> so, uh, guessing based off personality, uh, so probably Woody's in front. Uh, Winland probably next. Dre uh, lazily holding up the rear. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Woody, oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> just groaned. I, I, probably a lot of Dre has had to stop him from just hanging out with the rabbit and eating leaves. Or, probably not eating leaves, but just hanging out with the rabbit as he eats leaves. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I think I want to help you build a house instead of what they're doing. Can I do that? As I'm being dragged that. along, yeah, the rabbit like, yeah, the chill, man. thing sounds good. Hey, chill, but... man, you do your thing. I'm, I'm gonna go talk to this weird, uh, this weird tree lady. She sounds dope. He's... If you want to hang back, I mean, that's that's fine. <laughs> and think about it. We're on the clock, so if we're getting paid hourly, the longer it takes us to complete this mission, the more money we'll make. <laughs> No, I better just come with. <laughs> Perfect. Woody, as you're walking through, uh, you start to see like a loop of a, not a clearing, so it's not as dense as it was before. Uh, and, and Woody's he's kind of powering along, right? He's looking at the map, looking up, but like power walking, it sounds like, right? Oh, yeah. Woody? I would. Oh. Oh yeah, I would say he's not. A I, I might be a step away from. I'm somewhere between. I'm somewhere between um, jogging and prancing, wherever you want to put that in the speedometer. I'm somewhere between Jeez. jogging and prancing. <laughs> Is prancing faster than jogging? <laughs> I don't think so. I'd say I, I, would... <laughs> I would say it takes as much effort, but it's slower. That's what I would say. <laughs> prancing is. <laughs> Perfect. Well, give me a dexterity save. I'm not rolling 3d6. I'm rolling a d20. Okay, that is a 7 under, I think, 12. Perfect. As you're walking through, you see this clearing come up. Uh, you step kind of into the clearing for a second, but then you start to feel yourself sinking. But luckily, you're fast enough to jump back. Looking through, the group can see that part. Like this area is cleared out of trees and kind of like the most direct path. Uh, but you do see it looks like kind of mud, or quicksand. Uh, but the weird thing about it, though, is it, it looks just like regular ground uh, from a cursory glance. You see kind of covered with leaves, covered with branches. Uh, and it looks fairly clear until you step on it. Uh, but luckily, uh, Woody Lombard is able to be uh, fast enough to keep himself from sinking further in as he sees this. Uh, and you kind of see this this area kind of spreads around. And looking at the map, you have to find some way to clear through uh, without sinking in. Hmm. Are there any trees nearby that we could chop down and use as a bridge? There are trees you could chop down. Yeah, there's trees everywhere. There's trees. Yes. I mean, I don't know that I want to put in the effort to do that, but <laughs> if you guys wanted to, that would be one way to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at my. Uh, I was trying to find any items. I do have an axe. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I can't imagine that it would be crazy. Uh, you know, crazy fast in that regard. But uh, you know, how how, how wide is the yeah. area that we're trying to cross? So it's fairly wide. Uh, so it's like probably a half a football field wide and long. Okay. So a ten foot pole isn't going to help us. <laughs> let, let's let's you find a creative use for. It. <laughs> I have a ten foot pole, soap, and a grappling hook. I think I can come up with some creative uses, but I'm yeah. not sure they're going to hey. be helpful for this. Grappling hook, grappling I hook, and a ten foot pole. Yeah, you got some options rope. there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume that comes with rope, so I'll I give you the rope for that. Yeah. Worst case, we can find some vines. It's a yeah. it's a forest. I, what, what a 
you know, what are you looking for here? <laughs> I don't think that my character could successfully throw a grappling hook half a football give, field. Okay, give me that here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it. Hand it over. Yeah. And right. Monster say there is a clearing. There are kind of you see the canopy of leaves mm-hmm. and branches. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'll just take it and, you know, try and sort of toss it up there. Yeet. Yield yeet. Give me a, uh, give me a strength save for Winland. Alrighty. Not great at this, but, you know. Oh, hey, that's a two under eight, so I'll, uh, that'll make it. Sweet. You lasso it up, and uh, she throws it over. Uh, she, you know, see it fly in the air, and you feel a satisfying like hook and sink uh, into one of the upper branches of the canopy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. Uh, Tally-ho, or whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll... Uh, Give the give the rope a good tug, and then uh, see about trying to trying to swing across here or something. <laughs> Sweet. Give, uh, so yeah, it, you tug. It's hooked in there. Uh, you know it's going to be a, a bit of a, a long jump on that side. Uh, give me a dexterity save as Winland tries to cross the grab. Cool. Uh, that is an eleven under thirteen, so that's also a success. Solid. High dex. <laughs> yeah. Uh grappling hook in hand. Uh she's able to jump, uh leap over the uh the area and kind of find a solid ground uh across the, the quicksand pit uh within uh the, the forest preserve. She sort uh, of d- dusts herself off a little bit, <laughs> smack her her long hair and says, uh see, easy enough. <laughs> The rope swings back. Uh, who's going next? Uh, I guess I'll go next. So you, they wanted a deck save on that one? Deck <laughs> save? Mm-hmm. Good. I'm good at decks. <laughs> Two over 15. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, how does Dre swing across? As lethargically as possible. (laughs) I don't want to do this. I I just imagine the kid that doesn't want to be on the rope in gym class, but just swinging. (laughs) Almost comes back with it, but decides to let go and land on the other side anyways. (laughs) Perfect. Well, Woody, you are on the other side of the preserve. Would you guys... Oh, did you get disconnected? Yep. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, well, we'll wait for him to. Oh, we'll keep going while we, we jump in. Something was going to happen anyway, so this works out. Even so, <laughs> uh, as you guys can't see Woody across, or got to see Woody across, and the, the fog starts to deepen, but you guys start to hear howling. Uh, you hear wolves like just howling uh, through the fog. Uh, you hear kind of scurrying noises around you. Uh, just this predator kind of just war. Uh, and you hear it getting closer. Dre and Winlin, how do you all? How do you react to that? Um, Does it sound like it's coming from our side or from Woody's side? There's Woody. Uh, Oh, hey, the camera too. The camera too. Oh, that's figured. Okay, that's not gonna last. Don't get used to that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and basically, so you guys uh, now that uh, Woody is back, yeah, you hear this on your end, and Woody, you hear howling, scraping, and crying of wolves, uh, kind of like dogs in a pack. Uh, you hear that kind of just that howl and that whine of dogs when they have the scent. Uh, through the air, uh, do you guys do you hear it on your end in uh, Dre and Winland? You guys hear it on your end as well. Woody, you are still haven't made it across the I'm not sure where you cut out, uh, but they are uh, cr- crossing in, over oh, go ahead. in my head canon. We we came to like a swamp, right? Like in my head canon, we got yeah. to like a swamp clearing, and I was just charging through it as if I could walk the whole 
way through it in a prance. And then the rest of you stopped behind me and were like, you can't just walk across that. <laughs> and did and they like they swung vines across. In in my head, I can still just make it walking. So wherever if I've made it across, that's on that's totally your call. Oh, so you, I did not think Woody would just keep going. All right. Uh <laughs> Woody uh, give me a strength and dexterity save uh, as you are walking through the muck. Okay. I got a blue die for the dex save. <laughs> this is like rolling with advantage and disadvantage. Um, okay. So I succeeded on both checks. I got a three and an eight, and my lowest number is an 11. Nice. Yeah. So you have made it halfway through uh, the muck. Just like strength of will walking through plowing through this like quick uh, it was this quicksand like muck uh and you just can just keep going through and as you all swing across like you you swear like by now he should have been sinking or should have had his foot caught or should have tripped and fallen into the muck but he somehow has made it halfway through just through sheer grit Lord. and determination and the diet healthy diet of a full chicken uh <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, as you guys, you make it halfway through the muck, you all start to hear the howling of the wolves. You hear the whines of these dogs chasing, uh, getting closer. How do you all react? You hear this coming? You have a split second, or you have time before they arrive? What do you guys do? Uh, Wenlin sort of takes out her her sling and is sort of just ready to whack some pebbles at some guys. <laughs> uh. Dre will do similar and pull out his warhammer, and he's warhammer at the ready. I don't want to do this. <laughs> how does Woody on, take Woody. it? Woody would. Um, I forget how turns work in this game. Woody would first try and move to his allies, and if he has more, like if there's more he can do, he may do it. But like he's just gonna focus on that. Perfect. If, Oh, go ahead. Well, if I have anything left over, I feel like I want to listen to the, the screams of the wolves. And this is a stupid question, but remember, I cut out. Do the wolves sound hostile? Oh, you, you'd guess. They, they, they do sound like, like wolves. Like They sound like dogs that have got the scent. Uh, they sound like you hear like they're howling uh kind of cries out there. They sound like they're salivating. Like they're, okay. they're, they're, they're they're wolves with a mission, you feel. Do I have any, any movement left? Because I do have a third idea. Uh, well, definitely. Uh, if you're cro uh, kind of crossing through, give me one last strength and dexterity save. Okay. Uh, four and an 11. The 11 was for my strength, which I think... Is actually my lowest. That should be your equal to. Okay, yeah. Then we're good. It, then Sweet. it's an eleven and eleven. Yeah, so you all see Woody just literally plow through uh, the muck, uh, keeping himself from sinking, keeping himself from tripping over uh, the vines and creatures underneath. Uh, and you or see him arrive, uh, and as he does. You all see, peeking through some of the trees and the fog, eyes lighting up and snouts coming through. You see these wolves, and these wolves have, like, kind of, what you can see, they have very interesting coats. Like, uh, there's one in the middle with a kind of a deep white coat, uh, but the rest, one has kind of a white with a kind of a violet and uh, emerald kind of piping through his fur. Uh, another one has kind of crimson uh, and uh, kind of just browns, deep earth browns, kind of in highlighting his fur. Uh, but in total, you see two wolves, uh, and the one in white, poke through, uh, kind of from opposite ends. Like they've kind of herded you all in, and you see the wolves growling, teeth bared, uh, kind of fangs just glistening out uh, through uh, the the pokes of sunshine within the forest uh, and they are looking at you all like a fresh meal. Uh, sweet. So everybody, give me a dexterity saving throw. That is a success for me. Alright. Success with a seven. 
That's failure. Kind of 13 over 12. Perfect. Oh, I should have asked this first. Uh, what what uh, are you picking a target? Uh, and if not, what are you doing uh, as this happens? Mm -hmm. Is there anything terrain wise that I can like quickly climb on top of? Not to like try to climb away from them, but to just have the higher ground. Uh, roll me a d20. We'll say 10 plus there is. There's definitely trees. So you can climb. If you want to get away from there, there's trees about. But we'll see if there's like a good stump or rock 17. or something. Unfortunately, low is good for this one. So you see a lot of trees to climb, uh, but uh, not a good one to kind of jump on and purchase up above the wolves. All right. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and put my aim on the, uh, on the white wolf. And I'm kind of like prepping my warhammer like like a baseball player swinging the bat ready to go <laughs> you and me puppy <laughs> Winland, uh, who are are you picking a target and if not what are you doing i'm picking a target I which one are you going for are you going for the the, the alpha or one of the others i'll go for the alpha you know i I'm, right. I'm hoping that perhaps uh you know, if I take down the biggest one, the other ones will sort of be scatter or whatever. Perfect. Maybe wishful thinking. I don't know. <laughs> Woody, uh, same question to you. Woody, as of yet, has not chosen violence. Woody believes he can still talk his way out of this and would like to attempt to use that spellbook again to oh cast, make the alpha intelligent as a human being. Okay. Because I want to talk to him. So, uh, the way I guess, and we're kind of, uh, we'll be in initiative, or they're uh, Karen's version of initiative, and let me explain that too. Uh, so, uh, you guys, that's what we did the dexterity saving throws. If you guys pass, you go before your target, if you fail, you go after your target, right? Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, currently, Winlin and uh, Dre are uh, sizing the alpha up with a sling and a warhammer that's gonna be swung like a baseball bat. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, if the alpha survives, uh, you would definitely be able to, uh, cast that on them. I may pick a new alpha, someone else who looks friendly, someone who's oh more gosh. likely to see reason. Hey, look, we just killed your alpha. I don't we think any of these wolves people. look we particularly friendly. <laughs> we don't have to kill people. Perfect. Well, we'll let you pick who, uh, uh well, if you're not picking the alpha, you, you do see kind of the, the one with the emerald and violet striping, uh, and the other one with kind of the crimson and deep browns. Uh, Ooh, crimson. 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 I'll talk to the crimson one. Perfect. I feel like they're interested in conversation. Sweet. Well, you two, I'll let you decide between you guys who is up first, uh, between Winland and Dre. Uh, no, yeah, Winland and Dre had that, right? Uh, so you guys get to pick who's up first between you two. You can go first. I was going to say, you have the ranged weapon, so if you want to let go before I start charging, that would make sense to me. Yeah, sure. Um, so can you describe them again real quick? Um, so I can choose... Oh, wait, no, the alpha is... I can no, but, see which one the alpha is. Oh, you can see it's uh, the okay. the white one with pure white fur has like a bigger cool. appearance, and definitely he's the one that kind of came straight on at you guys versus coming awesome. to the sides. Yeah, I'll um I'll just take my sling. This ain't this ain't a slingshot. No, this is a a true medieval like oh. sling, right? <laughs> so I'm just I loaded my little bullet and just whoosh, you hear the the crack of the uh crack of the sling, um. Do, do, do. Sweet, give me a damage roll. Okay. And for anybody that's new to Karen, one of the interesting things with it is you don't roll to hit. Uh, it just assumes you do hit if you're in combat, uh, which can be both good and bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a three, three? for damage. Mm -hmm. It's only a D4, so. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, you. Yeah. How's that look as you, uh, you, you hit it with the rock? Yeah, so again, just sort of winds up on the sling, and you just hear like, the the crack of the sling as it sort of uh you know as i let go of one of the sides and the uh the bullet just sort of hits it it's sort of like straight on here so i'd say it like it hits it in like one of its shoulders or something you know 
Right. You see it pop into one of its shoulders, and you hear the wolf let like a low, mournful howl uh, as it rears back in pain, uh, and blood starts to leak down its paw. Uh, it three, uh, it's it's close to bloody. Uh, with that, mm. that 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 hurt the wolf uh, quite a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See it howl, its fangs bared, uh, and when uh, Dre, you are up. So uh, Dre is like charging as the bullet comes flying past me and I take a swing with that warhammer at the wolf for two more damage. Solid. Uh how does that warhammer look as you strike into it? Uh as he's kind of reared up and rearing in pain, I swing at him and uh smack him across the chest. Perfect. You see it kind of howl and rear uh Blood uh, leaking from the top of its arm, and now uh, its side uh, is clearly bloodied now. Uh, but it snarls its fangs uh, and lashes out at you, Winland. Uh, it's going to take a bite <laughs> at you. Good puppy. <laughs> Oof. All right, that's going to be nasty. Uh, it grips in with its fangs and pulls. Like You see, you swing with your uh, your warhammer into its side. It sees your arms and it grips in with its arm and drags down for seven damage. Whew. And how much HP does Dre have? Four with two armor. And I think I misplayed. I said the wrong person. Yeah, I, I was like, say, I said, oh, said win before, and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. You must be mean. Yeah, I, I did mean you, Dre. <laughs> oh, yeah. So seven HP, and I'm sorry, you said the number, but I was thinking about something else. What did you say for the number? I have four HP with two armor. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna get to some other rules here too. Uh, so that takes you down so you're going to be one below your hp so that's going to take one from your strength score okay uh you also need to make two checks for me uh you need to make a scar check but you also need to make i think a strength save as well all right strength is a 10, which keeps me under. And you actually don't need to make a scar check. Uh, scar is only when you get to zero exactly. Uh, so strength uh, so strength save, and you got um, you so you rolled under? Yes. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, you are still in the fight. Uh, you With that, if you failed, you would have had critical damage and would have been out of the fight uh, until somebody stabilized you and gave you aid. Uh, but yeah, you are hurt. This thing bit into you deeply, uh, blood flowing. Uh, this wolf came to fight. Uh, sweet. Uh, oh, Woody, you're up. Now the other two guys go. I speak to the wolf that is Why? has crimson, <laughs> crimson fur, and say, "Hey." This doesn't have to get any worse. Just let's just all agree to chill for a second, and then we won't. We don't have to hurry. We can talk. Talking's awesome. You're just as smart as I am, right? And I cast that spell on him again and risk getting one fatigue. All right. Uh, roll me two will saves. Okay. Uh, failure. One failure, one success. <laughs> All right. Uh, you failed the first one, or did you fail the second one? Second one. Okay. All right. Uh, you cast the spell. It goes off as you'd expect. Uh, you see the wolf with uh, the crimson piping on its fur. Uh, its eyes kind of narrowed. It's snarling. Uh, you see them kind of grow wide uh, with a, a new realization being unlocked uh, by your magic. Uh, but you see the snarling continues uh, afterwards, and you hear me like, oh, I'm gonna get you, the alpha wants you dead, coming into our ladies' forest like this, oh, I'm gonna tear you apart. That's not nice. Do I have enough <laughs> actions to hit him over the head with an axe? Unfortunately, you cast your spell there, so that it would be your action. Uh, and cool. Uh, I didn't, I didn't want to be a participate in combat. Let's do this. <laughs> 
<laughs> unfortunately, Will is also Persuade as well for this system. Uh, and unfortunately, with the <sighs> second failure. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so uh, yeah, you see uh, the, the two on the edges. The one with crimson is still talking. Ah, I'm gonna run the sound of my own voice, but I'm gonna chew your throat box out. Uh, talk to spray me. The alpha's here, uh, and he is going to launch at you and try to bite you. Is this the right one? That's not the right one. There we go. This voice uh, is dope. <laughs> for for uh, HP as it bites into you, uh, it kind of tries to pull you down there. Uh, question: I don't think I ever rolled for HP, so I don't know how much I have. Ah, it's a D six. D six. One D six. Okay. Okay, I rolled a five. Sweet. And do you have any armor? I do actually. I have a brigandine and a helmet, so I think that might give me an armor of like two or three. It's two, because that's Sweet. the same amount that I have. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll take you down. You said you you want a five for your HP, or I've got I'm blanking five. Numbers. Five. Yep. So that'll take it down to uh, you'll be three HP now. Okay. Because you minus your armor away from the incoming damage. Uh, so yeah. So he bites into you, sinking uh, his teeth, his armor, or your armor blocking much of his thrust. Uh, but he's just growling and talking shit as he does. Uh, the other one uh, is going to uh, assist his uh, his alpha and go after uh, Winland, who hit him with that sling. Uh, and he is going to try to drive his fangs into you as well. Down, boy. Down. <laughs> uh, five uh, damage on that one. Whew. Okay. Um, that will bring me to zero, actually, because I only had two. To bring you to exactly oh, oh no okay. be, and then it'll be uh minus one on my strength right yep yeah and then uh give me a strength save as well mm -hmm. come on oh that's a natural one oh good yeah it's always hard with natural ones to like uh i know <laughs> first i was like oh i don't know if you can <laughs> tell but like my face dropped a little bit and i was like oh wait yeah i want low <laughs> yeah <laughs> So it's the, the natural one. If anybody that's listening, crit fail is Very 20. Natural ones. <laughs> yeah, is. right. Uh, sweet. So, yeah, uh, you are on your feet. You are still fighting. Uh, you um, all see the uh, kind of the, the, the wolves bearing their fangs. The alpha looks hurt. Uh, the other two, uh, the crimson wolf is unharmed, but is uh, now uh, intellectually aware. Uh, and the uh, the violet or wolf is still uh, just snarling away. What do you guys do? Uh, even with you guys in initiative, you don't have to continue combat. One of the nice things with OSRs is it's a little... A little more open into there, so be I, creative. I feel like the uh, wolf is probably still like chomping on my arm, <laughs> so I gritting through pain and teeth. I go, I don't want to do this, <laughs> and then I swing again. Swing away. Got to use the right dice first. That's a four this time. Finish this. Uh, finish the alpha. Yay! So, yeah, with a bearing down on my on my arm which is already like crippled from the damage he's done to it i one hand the hammer and just poof, on top of his head <laughs> just Main sentience and then immediately gone well the, that was uh he didn't do the oh, alpha the, so the one, alpha the still one. uh wolf intelligence uh the violent yeah, yeah. the crimson one is now uh yes, awakened that's right. and then i turn around with like dead wolf just hanging out off of my arm and say who's next <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah, you see wolf braid splattered across. Uh, Dre, you are up. That was Dre. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Winland, you are up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, with, with one shots and stuff. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I always get those names so messed up. Um, I have yeah. an ally with green headphones and an ally with black headphones, and that yeah, is their names today. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just staring at three people with black headphones, so, you know, here I am. Um, Thank you okay. for your personality. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will... 
Oh man, I'm trying to think. Um, I guess there, in this system, there isn't really a any debuffs for uh, sort of being in melee range. But I'm gonna basically try and put some distance between me and the and the wolf that's sort of on me right now. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll try and use my swing or my sling, my swing. <laughs> um, so uh, that's just a two for damage. Yeah. All right. Uh, you sling it into the wolf. Uh, that pellet collides. Uh, this wolf definitely does not look as tough as the the alpha. Uh, he is bloodied from that. You see it yeah. kind of hit into his shoulder, and you hear like just wince. Uh, and you see blood and uncertainty, or uh, blood pouring and uncertainty in his eyes. <laughs> I'll just say, "Shoo, scram, get out of here, wolf." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 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 Woody, you are up. Woody uh, first says, I immediately regret this decision. And um, <laughs> if there are no penalties, if there are no penalties in melee, then I think I'll hit it with my halberd because that sounds like the most painful. All right. Yeah. Um, and, but I don't know how to do damage. So it just, so I have a halberd and I, I have an 11 a strength. Isn't it? Let me look it up real quick. Uh, I'm I pretty could, sure that's the max die. I couldn't find that on my uh, character I, sheet. I think that may be. The... But I am going to yeah. roll a d10 and hope that that's accurate. So if you find out that's accurate, it then I roll a 7 on my d10. 7 damage on this wolf Halbert. that for some reason... Halbert is a d10, yeah. Sweet. You like all... I regret that you chose violence <laughs> and just stabbing him with my two-handed weapon. <laughs> Sweet, uh, with <laughs> this newly awakened intelligence, this this wolf who ascended the, the 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 intellectual limits of what wolves were capable of for all of six seconds. Finish him off. <laughs> the axe comes down over him, and I think to myself, "Damn it! You would have been an awesome pet. Why did it have to be like this?" <laughs> It's a wild <laughs> animal. It's cruel to keep them as pets. It's it, <laughs> it, it, we could it, we could have had a relationship, a camaraderie, maybe not a pet. A, you know, there's there, we could have been friends. It was violence. You you see it like just low growling. I thought before I died, uh, and just <laughs> <laughs> last breath. <laughs> I think therefore I am. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, uh, as this goes off, he was a philosopher. The, <laughs> the and you stole that brain. from the worm. <laughs> <laughs> the alpha's brains on uh, Dre's hammer. Uh, the uh, the other the crimson wolf's uh, cut in half. Uh, you see the the wolf with the the violet and emerald piping on its fur, bleeding from Winland's uh, pellet, just looks uh, eyes fearful, uh, and it just turns tail and runs. Uh, do you guys pursue, or do you guys let him go? I'll let him go. I don't I don't expect him to have the intelligence to bring back <laughs> some wolf buddies to go beat us up. And I'm not about to go trampling through the uh, you know, through the woods here. <laughs> so... You know. Being lazy, I'm all for letting that wolf run off because I've already done way more work than I wanted to today. <laughs> <laughs> As I now take the wolf pelt and throw it over my shoulder like a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get this on with. <laughs> Well, uh, you see the forest around you, uh, where before it was filled with the growling and howling of the wolves. Uh, you see a silence prevail uh, within uh, this deep wood uh, with uh, the, the fog around you. Uh, what are you all doing next? I'm chasing after the wolf to kill it. Oh, are you because chasing the wolf? Not right. nice. oh it was God. not nice. It was not nice. I have I have been in this world for maybe a few minutes, and I have made a decision. That world, this world would be better without another wolf in it, so I'm going to kill another one. <laughs> All right. Um, sweet, uh, do you have any ranged weapons? No. 
Um, Unless an axe counts. Oh, what? throw it. Is it like a, like a regular like axe? It just says axe. It doesn't say it's a great axe. It doesn't say it's a hand axe. It just says axe. So there's right. a lot of room for interpretation there. Well, give me a... Uh, usually you just roll damage to hit, but this guy is running. Uh, this is a kind of a melee axe. Give me a dexterity save. See if you can... Spe- uh, not spear him, but axe X-9. him before he gets through. <sighs> Failure. It's a natural 20. They felt so oh, bad about one before. Oh, those the worst. <laughs> they, the <laughs> they feel betrayed. Oh. <laughs> like I should trust this die again. <laughs> Fortunately, you see uh, that wolf kind of dart through the trees. You still bleeding from the recently awakened wolf spite. You throw that axe, and unfortunately, it skitters away too quickly. And you find your axe lodged into the tree. Okay, I take the I take the axe out. And then I apply some face paint because that's also on my character sheet. <laughs> it, one of the interesting things with Karen, I'll say, if anybody who hasn't played it, go check it out. But it has like such like weird inventory items sometimes, or interesting inventory For items. For sure, also. I love yeah. it so much. <laughs> I've got Sweet. pots left I haven't used. I'm putting a little check mark on them so I know what to do it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Are you guys pressing on, or uh, what are you thinking? Onwards. I'm That's just gonna kind of... let the rest of the party know that I also have a large trap, so if they have an idea, <laughs> let me know. It might have been useful before we fought the wolves. <laughs> well, I was in a lake. There that was nothing strange to do business, about it. man. Mentioned something about healing plants. Anybody know anything about that? You, Woody, start eating plants and tell me if they make you feel better. <laughs> yeah, and he would have given you a description of the healing plants if you guys want to look for them. Um, one thing I will say to uh, to give you guys a little bit of a heads up there with uh, this system has a kind of a short rest mechanic um, where you can like drink some water, kind of sit, chill for a bit, uh, like a minute. Like it's like a quick sip and chill, uh, and um, mm-hmm. you will get your HP back. Um, yeah. Now that the, you won't get your like, so a couple of you guys lost like strength due to the damage you took. You won't get that back, but you will get your HP back. Well, I'm all for that. But there are some magically healing plants in there in case you do want to find look take a little detour to look for them and get some HP or get your abilities back as well. I am oh, eating plants that I see. I assume that I use a will save to try and or a, a wisdom save to try and figure out which plants are the ones I should eat. Well, the and then another to... one if it's the wrong <laughs> one. <laughs> The guy, guy, guy can't give you a little bit of a description of what the plants look like. Uh, you don't see any in your immediate area. Are you still, are you still just eating plants? Jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna start eating some, perhaps some poison oak. I'm, I'm thing. gonna ro- roll a die to see if I am or not. Because <laughs> I can't choose. I choose the safe way. I'm not eating anything. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because uh, with this with this forest, like he told you about the the golden tree, but yeah, there's medicinal plants, there's glowing wood, there's a lot of things that could be either useful or lucrative to bring back with you, including this giant wolf pelt on my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, wow, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. nice. uh, as I'm dragging it through the woods, <laughs> not got it or anything. Um, I, I would like to take that short rest so I can get my hit points back. Perfect. I use the short rest to apl- take some of the blood out of the wolf and apply face paint so I can let the other wolves know I've already succeeded in killing one of them, so if they're coming at me, they should know there's a chance they're not walking away. You, you definitely gotta let the other wolves know, like, I'll make you intelligent before I kill you, which just seems like the worst way to do that. It is. <laughs> I want you to know exactly what's gonna happen to you before. <laughs> yeah. He's already questioning most, his mortality. That was not the most well thought out plan. But I wanted to use an item before it didn't it's brutal. happen. Anymore. It's brutal. I mean, it works. It's brutal. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, the hard part is they, they don't really know fear before this happens to them, but they'll be very afraid after it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Should have cast it on the wolf that was running away from us. <laughs> it now knows fear. <laughs> it can teach the others. 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, so after a short rest, we press on. Yep. Perfect. And are you guys heading towards the center with the golden tree? Are you looking for some of the healing plants or other kind of magical oddities within this forest reserve? Uh, I say stay on mission because I'm lazy and want to get this over with as soon as possible. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Perfect. Well, you all uh, continue pressing on after you get that swig of water and get your vigor back after uh, the vicious assault from the wolves. Uh, eventually, you do make it through uh, this kind of clearing area into this really kind of denser fog. Like, this almost seems like you're getting closer to the center, and this fog gets denser. You see rows and rows of trees. And the funny thing is, like, before the trees kind of had a regular forest placement, they looked disorderly. But now the trees seem to be in rows uh, and columns. Uh, and you see dense fog, so dense that uh, it's hard, uh, whoever's uh, in last place, it's hard to get a great look at uh, Woody in the, the front. Uh, it's real thick fog with the trees and foliage surrounding you. Uh, and it's just denser and thicker denser and thicker the further you guys go in. What do y'all do? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I guess, you know, taking out my axe and sort of using it as needed to clear away whatever's in my way, basically. Um, but yeah. otherwise, just keeping an eye out. <laughs> Perfect. Dre, not what Dre, uh, Winlin and Woody. Give me another will save. Mm -mm. I don't know why I'm instinctively rolling two. <laughs> That's a fail again for me. <laughs> <laughs> Success. Four under fifteen. Woody, you, 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 uh, you still feel that buzzing in the back of your head. You still feel like something's like you know, that hot breath. But luckily, I mean you've. You've slayed a, a slayed a, a recently awakened wolf. You you feel comfortable in these forests. But when you hear that, my wolf was awakened. It was harder to kill than the rest of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. I got more experience. That's why I gave. That's why I gave it sentience. Down my arm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> But Dre, not Dre, I keep wanting to call you Dre, Winland, uh, <laughs> you, you feel the, the buzzing intensify. You feel the breath on the back of your head neck intensify. But you also hear a voice speak into your head. And you hear just kind of this almost sing-songy voice speak. The forest is not permitted to thee. You should turn back and flee. Or we will... Or, or proceed forward and wait and see. We shall bury thee. I hope not. I say out loud. <laughs> what are you talking to? I just got threatened uh, by some voices in my head, I think. Oh, what did they say? <laughs> it was a whole rhyme sort of deal um, that I'm not going to attempt to sort of, you know, get that done. Um, but basically they're like, don't go any further into the forest. Otherwise we're going to bury you. But they said the instead. Did they, um, <laughs> did they say when they would bury us? Because in theory, because depending on timing, that could be very nice or a threat. Like if they threaten to bury you tomorrow, probably means they're going to kill you. But if they threaten to bury you in like 30 years, that means they want to be your friend and they're just going to pay you be respect there for me. later. Yeah. You know? I see. Uh, so, well, they didn't specify. Uh, I imagine. Um, I imagine that uh, you know, they were meaning it sort of more as a threat. Um, but we can sort of move forward if we just want to assume that they were talking in the very in the very far sort of future. I take out a pot so that and, and my halberd so that I am equally prepared to either cook them dinner or kill them. Fair I've enough. got all options That's covered. Glass half full, half full approach, I guess. We always need somebody to bury you sometime in the future. Uh, but yeah, you all proceed forward. 
Uh, and the, as I said, the fog gets denser, the woods get darker, uh, the trees get fuller, uh, just the foliage comes through, uh, you have to keep kind of cutting and moving as you go or climbing awkwardly around. But as you look up, it looks like you kind of come through to a spot where you swear, like, oh, this is one of your kind of your cuts where you've cut some of the foliage before, you see it cleared through, almost like you circled right back around. This is fine, I think. Uh, but I just feel like I've been here before. Dang it, Woody. What? You let <laughs> us back it around in a circle. <laughs> no, this I, I, I remember nice mentioning... Things. Did I not enter this forest say I see how you could get lost in here? And then just, you know, like, this is what we saw coming. I'm not really surprised by this. This is just part of the journey. I knew this was coming. I thought this place was dope anyway. I don't know why you followed me. <laughs> I guess that's fair, yeah. yeah I mean, he did walk in and say he never wanted to leave again. So I... <laughs> That's valid. That's valid. So far I've found a, a, a pretty cool rabbit and a guy who wants to bury me. Like, I, I don't know what to make of it. Oh, and then there's a dead guy. A dead Sometimes guy? What dead, dead guy? We can bury the dead guy. It's fine. We'll show them how to do it so they're doing better for us. It's great. I'm confused. Mm. What dead guy are you referring to? Did I miss Yes. Yeah, uh, I mean, wolf. I guess just... Oh, uh, we wolf. killed two wolves. They're dead guys. Yeah. Like, to this, in this yeah. place, they're yeah. people. Come on, man. Keep up. And one was awakened to be a people, too. So Right? <laughs> I, I'd say that one is a dead guy. I hate yeah. one of them agency yellow. before I killed it. Aren't I nice? <laughs> um... <laughs> Everybody give me a will save as you all oh, are walking yeah. through this dense foliage. And 11 trees out of 15. And rows of trees. Uh Five that is a 7 <laughs> under 8, so um, that'll pass for me finally. <laughs> you all are walking through the fog and you get to see this for walks. You see these rows and columns of trees almost like spin and shift. Uh, just because almost like the whole floor just, just takes a spin and a shift. Been, you can probably surmise it's been doing that as you've been walking through the dense fog, but it's been harder to see. But you see these trees just almost like they're on a conveyor belt, just spin, shift, and move with the ground beneath them kind of altering. Uh, hmm. And you see that going through. But you also see as it's spinning and shifting, the trees are getting closer together as well. They're just almost imperceptibly, but each spin and shift, a little close together, a little close together. Uh, and the smarter amongst you will realize that eventually they may smash into you. Uh-oh. Hmm. Halbert out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer preparing to cook for them. <sighs> Yeah. These, I will say, don't look like awakened trees, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So how do you all want to handle it? Uh, one thing I will say with OSR is, too, you don't have, only have three stats, but get creative with them. You can uh, don't feel constrained by the things you have. Uh, go nuts. We need to use... Uh... Woody's uh, face paint to start marking trees to help keep track of a path so that way we don't keep getting put into a circle because we need to start moving fast <laughs> before we get pinned in by these trees. I agree. Or we just start hacking at the trees and make them even matter faster. <laughs> yeah, I think running I... is a smart call. As I'm covered with wolf blood i just start smearing trees as i'm walking to you know <laughs> indicate where where we've been i just keep reaching up and digging into it and smearing yeah i'm Bruce. sure that when friends of the nature preserved yeah well <laughs> Yeah, you are. Uh, you were able to smear blood. Uh, you see uh, the trees shift, but you're able to see some of the ones you've went through. Uh, what else did the rest of you guys do? Mm. Mm. I'd say just uh, just trying to be fast, you know, trying to 
important you know again it's all about just getting in getting out and i think that's just what uh when when is sort of focused on right now perfect uh Zwillin is running uh and i think uh uh woody you mentioned running as well is, is woody running or is he doing anything else special as you're running um he's just running but he's I don't know how to say this in a way that makes sense. Um, he's trying to run in like a chaotic direction. So let me serpentine, let me, serpentine. Not that far off. So what he's doing is he's assuming that the the maze that we're in is deliberately shifting and correcting around um, he's him. He's trying to run, and he assumes that like. that everything is moving like where he is is moving as well as the rest of the forest so it's all he assumes it's all random and he thinks that if you just can like keep charging and changing directions randomly you're always going to end up in a different space and the space is small so we might we might just randomly get out if we keep moving all right do you guys uh do you all follow forces uh serpentine uh chaotic path <laughs> Um, as best as I can while smearing blood everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I, I guess that would be my answer as well. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, with uh, the smearing blood, uh, do you kind of, uh, do you point anything out uh, as you're running through your chaotic path, or do you just let him kind of uh, run through uh, and zigzag it out? Um, I'm, I'm more or less trying to just mark where we've been. So I guess if I would notice that we're going past trees I've already marked before, I would like change direction we've been through here. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Dre, give me a will save. Uh, Winland and Woody, give me dexterity saves as you guys are racing through the trees. Nine of 14 for a pass. Nice. That's a four of 13 for a pass as well. Solid. Nine of 12, pass. Hey. Perfect. Yeah, so the chaoticness of Woody's path, uh, surprisingly a well-thought idea for the the uh, the uh, the forester. Uh, he is, if everything is moving uh, and moving intelligently, a chaotic path is a, a sure way through. And with uh, Dre calling out some of the signs that they've been into areas where clusters of blood have been, uh, your chaotic zigzaggy path brings you outside the the kind of the cluster of trees and you see them kind of uh, as you kind of get through that last of this little maze of road lined trees you see them clump together uh you see your guys just made it out without getting smashed by the tree forest maze uh and you do find yourself outside of it and you see a in the distance a golden shining light uh but we're going to take a quick break there. Uh, so uh, we'll pause there, come back at, what time is it? 9.47, uh, 9.52. And I'm going to go see what my dog is barking at. So everybody join us back in five minutes. Uh, and we'll uh, pick up the last half of the adventure.
Welcome back, everyone, to the second part of Kieran, our uh, kind of impromptu one shot. Uh, one thing I will say before we get going, uh, this May, so our May game of the month, uh, is Champions Hero System. So uh, I love comic book systems. Uh, I'm using X-Book, uh, X-Book, X-Men as our uh, basis for this one. Uh, so our game of the month will be May 25th, Thursday at 7 p.m., Come through it'll be on YouTube as well as this one. So uh come through, get a chance to win a free PDF copy of the system, and then stay tuned. Sometime this weekend, I'll have like our first video up for the system as I get a chance to start leafing through the book. Uh yeah, let's get back into it. So our heroes were hired by the warden of this mining and logging town, this small little village. Uh, where the warden had an impressively large house compared to the the who's around him. Uh, he asked them to go into this forest preserve that magically sprung up uh, recently within the area to chop down uh, the golden sapling within. Uh, the crew made their way to this forest uh, that had impressively large trees as they've been there for centuries uh, in this rolling fog that seemed to go in and out of the area. Making their way within, the first thing they did is found a, a friendly rabbit uh, and uh, awakened him and gave him human intelligence. Uh, and they learned that there indeed was a goddess, um, which he called uh, the Lady in the Tree. Uh, and her tree was next to this golden sapling. Uh, they said that this preserve was not for humans and that the tall folk usually were attacked upon entering. Uh, but the group persevered and left uh, our bunny friend behind to eat his leaves and maybe build a house if he gets to it uh, and proceeded deeper into the forest where wolves set upon them after uh, making their way through a muck trap. Uh, but now the group has made their way through the traps of the forest and they see ahead of them a golden light, uh, and a kind of a golden light amidst and kind of beaming up uh, but around it, a sea of trees kind of surrounding the area. And as we do that, Will, give me one last wisdom save, or Will oh, saving throw. <laughs> That's a fail. <laughs> All right. 15 uh, over 8. Uh, hold on. Rhyming's harder than it seems. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that, but I was like, it sounds good in the moment. That sounds good. Uh, I'm sorry, my filter isn't working right now. The thought that immediately popped into my head was, what are you talking about? You're black. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sing saw me like old fairy tale rhymes are harder than just doing like a battle thing. But, <laughs> just see it, man. <laughs> You hear this voice in your head again, and as this voice speaks, your eyes cloud over, uh, and mm -hmm. you see you've been misled. These people are coming for your head. Those you came with want you dead. You better be get ahead. Drop them like hot lead. <sighs> And you, I'll look conspiratorially to the <laughs> at the other two. Yeah, and you see your eyes once again fade, or um, your vision once again comes back. Uh, but Woody and uh, Dre both look fairly ferocious. They look like they like you've seen them like either you see the blood dripping from Dre's uh, great axe uh, as uh, you see the, not even just the blood dripping from the great axe you see the blood dripping from the body of the wolf he brought with him that he felled uh, and he looks uh, he could kill a wolf that easy he could kill you that easy mm. you see uh, <laughs> on uh, Woody you see the blood of the wolf that he face painted onto himself uh, from his kill uh, the awakened wolf who had sentience of a human at that point uh, adorning his face, you're like these, these. These guys are killers. These guys, they, they could want you dead. They could drop you like hot lead. Uh, <laughs> how does uh, how does uh, Winland react to all this? It's just sort of like like backing away and wide eyed, looking at uh, the two of them, <laughs> and says, uh, "Yeah, you you all could want me dead." I don't know where my accent went, but I'll get it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and just sort of back up, you know? Yeah. So Dre and Woody, how do you, oh, Dre, I think you're muted. Yes, I was. Thank you. Uh, what are you on about? Are you hearing voices in your head again? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'll sort of like jump back. I'm like, <laughs> maybe they're uh, they're right. Maybe they're right about you too. <laughs> no, no, want... no. Remember, we're going to take his money, pointing at Woody. When he doesn't <laughs> come back with us, <laughs> and it's not because we're killing him, it's because he wants to stay here. Mm. I... I may find myself splitting the party in a moment. Oh my gosh. If, if if we remember our last game, our last game ended with Rage betraying me. I killed Rage, and then Doomer <laughs> Doomer oh. killed me. I so, forgot all about that. <laughs> <laughs> so me, um. I, I actually hadn't planned on killing Doomer. I was gonna. <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> we slaved. We, we just cut anyway. So not to replay that, but that's what happened last time. And to be fair, the last time was all on you guys. I did not. I, <laughs> actually, uh, I, was, I, was, I am no. presently not worried about anyone other than myself. So I'm thinking like zombie protocol. If these guys get bit by some of the monsters they'll fall down they'll slow down the wolves i'll have more time to escape so i haven't stopped to listen to what this guy's bothering to tell us and i'm just charging so he doesn't see me like being all crazy aggressive to him unless he sees me being aggressive to him while running in the opposite direction so i'm slowly getting smaller in his appearance while doing threatening things so yeah, so you see, uh, for uh, women, you see Woody running through, uh, getting closer to the ring of trees and the golden light in between. You see Dre, who thinks he's talking sense into you, uh, but you hear as he's been just, like, splitting the gold and uh, taking Woody's share, it's like, it's twisted. Like, you're like, if he'll take Woody's share, even if he's not going to kill him, he'll take my share. He's just going to take my shares to kill me. Uh, and it's just kind of like, you just hear that paranoia coming through. But Woody, as you're running closer to the trees, you see faces on the trees looking at you. And you see some of them are looking at you running closer, and some of them are looking at the scene behind. What does everybody do? <laughs> Wenlin is still like, on the defensive, you know, she's not making any moves to like try and, you know, hurt Dre or anything, but just sort of not being very, very convinced at this point, <laughs> you know, perhaps, you know, clutching the pocket that all, all four of her gold pieces are in, <laughs> you know. I had a chicken this morning. I'm coming out ahead if I live. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically say, ah, forget it, and just, like, <laughs> wa wave off wooden and, and just keep pushing on towards the, towards the, the, the ring of trees with faces, even though I can't see the faces yet. Alright. <laughs> Winland, give me one last will save. Oh gosh, please, please. That's a three. That's a save for me. Nice. <laughs> so you can't be able to blow three. You can't be able to blow uh... Yeah. You still feel the buzzing. You still hear kind of the breathing in the back of your head. Uh, but as you see Dre run away, they, they don't look as intimidating. They don't look as frightening. Um, you, you, kind of, you kind of don't feel like they're just going to stab you in the back just yet. Uh, you kind of feel that paranoia that uh, that manicness that was inspired by uh, the forest feed just slightly. Mm. Oh. I'll the sort of like lower know. my shoulders a little bit, you know? <laughs> just like, um, okay. I'll just sort of start heading, uh, you know, heading, sort of following them at a distance. I'm not running, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And as you all run, or some of you run, and some of you follow at a distance, uh, Woody in particular, you see those faces, with, uh, with the, the trees with faces watching you, and you hear a booming voice call out uh, with kind of uh, a deep but 
Uh, definitely ladylike tone, call out and yell, why do you disturb our sanctuary? This place was not meant for you. We've given you chances to turn around. Why do you pursue our riches? I, I'm i not pursuing any riches. I literally just came in because I thought this place was dope. That's why I'm here. I thought this place was awesome. <laughs> but I'm not going to stop at that. I'm not sure if I should stop to have this conversation. <laughs> but um, I slow down because I'm interested in what they're selling me. Um, and I, I just, I thought this place was dope. That's why I'm here. I mean, if I have to be a tourist, fine. I'm, I'm on my way out. I ain't seen shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are like the others who come to steal our plants, harm our animals, and cut our trees down. Hold we up. have dealt death to those who come before and that have disturbed the sanctuary provided to us by our goddess. Hold up. Now, you can Hold ask up. the rabbit. The only animals we've killed, as I'm holding the wolf on my shoulder, <laughs> are the ones that tried to kill us first. <laughs> That's self-defense. And I don't think we've chopped down any full-grown trees yet. Hold up. If you let me live here, I'm I'll kill the tree. guy who sent us. He's got more of your wood. Oh I can bring God. it back. That wood was dope, but it belonged in a forest. I say, yeah. like Indiana Reverse Jones. Indiana saying, Jones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it belongs in a few museum. Like, <laughs> belongs in a temple. <laughs> belongs in your bitchin' goddess temple, lady. This place is dope. I'll bring you your stuff back. Let me hang out. <laughs> you hear kind of an eerie silence descend over the forest, and you hear Just the speechless. voice. <laughs> It is for a moment. Uh, you hear the voice call back. You would kill those who had come into our force. You would protect our reserve and take out the man who had sent these low-life thugs to cut down our lives. Yeah, yeah. And even better, even better. That guy makes like a chicken coop and he's got a chef who makes some dope chicken. We can bring those guys back, too. We can really spruce this place up. You can have the best of our world. Gentrifying the magical forest. I was about to oh say. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity is good. Give me, a, give me a will save as you try to persuade the, the lady of the forest. This is the dumbest shit I've ever done, and I love it. This is a 12 <laughs> under 15. <laughs> you see, she pauses and says... We would like his head. You, if you kill him, Fun. burn down his home with the stolen lives of our people. We will permit you and the uh, the other two along with you to stay within our forest if you so choose. No other humans will be allowed within. I'm sure one of these guys makes a good chicken. Um, <laughs> just to just to clarify, because I, I heard something that I thought might be offensive, and I want to make sure I'm not doing anything you're going to be upset with. You know, we're learning about each other. Um, I want you to know that um, I feel like you asked me to kill your dead friends in the, the, the make this diet dude's house. Like, I thought you wanted me to bring your dead friends back so we could give them a proper burial or something. But, I mean, if you want, we can burn them down there, and they can be, like, the weapons that kill him. Like, we can do that, too. Then it'd be hard to bring his head back, though. Just saying. <laughs> they they have been desecrated. We need to send them beyond as quickly as we can. Burn it we down. want cool. his it. head as proof, though. Take his head, just... then put it down. Got it. The order of operations is important. I'm glad. We, I'm glad I asked these questions. And to live among us, we will not permit the lives of animals to be taken. 
chickens or not. Oh, uh oh. Question. <laughs> Question. Are we going vegetarian or vegan? Because <laughs> just just sounds like vegetarian. I don't know. <laughs> vegetarian, I feel like I can do. Vegan's gonna be tricky. Vegan's gonna be tricky. I don't like. What if I bring some chickens here and I just enjoy their eggs? Is that okay? Can I make an Stealing omelet? Stealing from that. <laughs> <laughs> you see the the trees like ruffle uh and throw up their branches uh and they yell no animal shall be eaten take that as you will now bring us our his head before we bring you or we bring yours to our lady i'm gonna play it safe i'm gonna go vegan <laughs> but I feel like I'm gonna go vegan plus cheese. Vegan right. plus cheese. Let's let's Isn't go. That already included in, in veganism. <laughs> I didn't know vegans could have. I didn't know vegans could have cheese. Oh, I see. I thought you were saying vegan and products, have so cheese. Like, have I thought you were like saying animal. the opposite. You're gonna exclude I'm not animal byproducts animals. and also cheese. I was like, cheese is an animal byproduct. What the hell? I'm not <laughs> killing animals. I'm just squeezing their nipples a lot when they're already milking like that's do the gross vegan cheese i shouldn't say the, gross... <laughs> the vegan cheese i don't like the vegan cheese <laughs> i've had some good vegan cheese I'm, anyway I'm, i should find some good ones i haven't liked the ones i've tried uh, can, but <laughs> can you let us find a way out can you help us like yeah we, are you like... gonna make it easy for us to come and go or... we've been having trouble just bailing like I, I we've been trying to run for a while which sounds like something you want and it's been harder so Maybe stop doing that. Is that chill? <laughs> he says, we will allow you to leave. And if you come back with the head of those that the one who had sent those to harm our forest, we will allow you free access to the sanctuary with it. <laughs> Dope. I can have bacon outside. All right, let's do this. And she shouts to, uh, to Dre. But you must leave behind our children that will slay you. Drop. <laughs> All yours. Do you have like a creek? You want me to wash some of this off? <laughs> <laughs> you see the, the trees once again ruffle. And she just yells, leave. <laughs> leave? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> leaves. <laughs> make like a tree, man. Leaves, I'm gonna make like a tree and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Bye. You're such a dad. <laughs> I really am. But yeah, you all are able to. You see the fog clear in a narrow path. Uh, you see the trees almost move aside through that path. Uh, and you are able to find a way outside the forest. Uh, a little bit of hiking, but you make your way there. Uh, but yeah, you guys know uh, this little mining town, uh, house on the hill with the warden and his staff. Uh, what are you all thinking? Listen, listen. I uh, I have no stake in this game anymore. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop you all. I'm just letting you know I'm not gonna assist any further. I'm gonna stay out of the way. <laughs> okay. I think that's fair. I think you know. no, I'm not I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. You know what? I I gotta tell you, I left. I'm cooling on the idea anyway. I feel like. I'd rather not. I'd ra I'd just rather run from this place. Yeah. yeah. Than have it envelop me. I mean, one day I want to go back, but like, I feel like they didn't put like a time limit on how mm -hmm. long it takes me to burn down their corpse. No, they're... we have to burn out down their house soon. Yeah. But like, yeah. um, we don't have to bring back the head like anytime soon. So you know, we got some time. I'll, I will leave that in your all's capable hands. I'm going to probably try and find some work uh, that isn't in a magical sort of deadly forest. Uh, You're missing out. This is my third. It's awesome. Most are not third. this bad. This is your third. 
How do you think my brother got three curses? <laughs> Bringing it around. He got two in one. <laughs> wow. That was yeah. the magical forest. That was in the magical mountains. <laughs> yeah, he's a mountain man. I'm a forest man. <laughs> What's his name? Rocky Hill? Yeah, he's a boxer. <laughs> oh my god. He punches trees all goddamn day. He hates this one. This is why he didn't come. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, Wenlin is it, one of her traits is that she's she's uh humble and wise. And I think the the wise man in me is saying, Yeah, <laughs> I'll cut my losses and say that was a waste of an afternoon, but uh you know <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, because I'm a humble Bitter uh -huh. and respected. So that means <laughs> respect. you respect my decisions in this moment. I'll respect your decision for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy, so I didn't want to do this in the first place. But now that we're here, if we're going to have to burn the house down anyways, we might as well take the gold that he was going to pay us while we're in the process. I'm, am I wrong? His house did look like he had a lot of gold uh, built on the backs of those who labor in the mines and the, the forest preserves. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as a miner, that's the gold that I took out of the ground. Ergo, it's my <laughs> gold. He stole it from me. <laughs> I'm just taking it back. I'm not interested in stealing his gold, but I'll totally, if he has, like, any cows or goats, I'll totally oh steal God. those. The animals, again. <laughs> I want to bring them along. I feel like they would really enjoy seeing a place like this. That rabbit was cool. What if that? What if I could teach that rabbit about cheese? <laughs> what if you could make rabbit, rabbit cheese? I could, I could change the world if I teach these people about cheese. <laughs> I thought Woody's just going to cast it like uh, awaken each day, all that rabbits. Like, I know. Every, oh, I am. Morning, I absolutely every morning, am. Every carrot and awaken. <laughs> yeah, well... I'll do it yeah, three I... times a day if I can get away with it. <laughs> no, go till the soil. <laughs> Make me my cheese. <laughs> Work yes. with me, I won't awaken you tomorrow, bro. I'll find somebody else. <laughs> that's like that's like a weird for your intelligence. Shit. Yeah, that's, that's kind of worse than the other guy. Like you're worse than the one with that. <laughs> like, do you want to be sent to it? Yeah, you better get there and work the fields. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. <laughs> I haven't look, Woody Lumbar of the forest has not handled morality yet he's still he's in the middle of his ethics class he hasn't gotten there he's got a lot of questions not a lot of answers fair enough <laughs> so even uh... though he can't read um question do we think the forest actually knows who it was that sent us into oh the into the, the forest, <laughs> or can we go to the local penal colony and take somebody's head there and bring that back? I mean, no, that's a good question. You can test the the lady that was called the goddess of nature and the lady in the tree and see uh, what you think. I mean, do trees you know, know what humans' I... head look like? Do trees? I, I mean, they're looking at us. They know what our heads look like. <laughs> <laughs> the question is whether they've ever seen his face. And he doesn't seem like the type that would actually go in himself. So I'm willing to bet that they don't know who he is. Yeah. You picking well, up what I'm putting down? <laughs> you're and making a can, good point. Then we can go ahead and continue the mission without killing our benefactor and take the thing and then it's all good no i want to i want to kill the benefactor because i want good things for the man who oh. makes that chicken <laughs> <laughs> he deserves good lose his employer how is that a good thing 
You know, maybe he'll inherit something nice from the employer. Maybe the employer doesn't have anyone to leave anything to. He'll just stay with the We're folks. He's gonna burn everything down. He's not gonna have anything to inherit. <laughs> he, might he, have have <laughs> he might have a bank account. There too. He might have a bank account. account. The <laughs> land itself may be useful. You might be able to rebuild something there. I mean, what's the school district like? It might be worthwhile <laughs> just for that. <laughs> I don't think yeah. there are banks or schools. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the, let's talk the, about the, the crime rate. Down. That's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will just you know, I'm gonna, I'm going to you know respectfully sort of you, just let you all now. do your your thing. <laughs> I'm gonna watch from afar and <laughs> and see how it goes. <laughs> So, what of these uh, these plans are you all pursuing? Are you burning down the the mansion, stealing the ward, or taking the ward instead? Are you just trying to, to gamble on bringing a random head back to the uh, the lady of the tree? Are you just fucking off and going, down, going going home? <laughs> out, of, out of respect for the lady of tree. I would want to take the genuine correct head just because I don't want to, I don't want to like get drunk with a letter and be like, you know, that wasn't the right dude's head, right? Like, you know, <laughs> you know, I just brought you a random head. Like there's more out there. There's like a ton more. You want more of these? We can put some up. It'll it, we can really, really tie the room together. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> And plus, if we're committing murder, we might as well murder the right person. Gosh. One Lin. I did not is... like that. He. I did not the... like that he had uh, taken from the forest. I initially, I had initially thought about just killing this guy. <laughs> One Lin is uh, in the camp of cutting and leaving, <laughs> not about to <laughs> listen. I want you to engage with the plot and stuff, but One Lin's just like, no, no. I've already gone through so much today. I almost died because of some wolves and now some tree ladies are being like, you know, super on top of it and just <laughs> sort of going wild. I feel like if I mess up, I might accidentally inhale some, you know, particles of some animal or something and you know, I'll be I'll be a goner. I like having having outhouses and, you know, uh, modern amenities, <laughs> you know, <laughs> If you know about the right leaves, some of that toilet paper can be awesome. I, you know, I gotta, send you I for a honest, trip. Living in the woods and just having to defend it periodically from other people going in there. Good kick. Does sound like I did a lot less work than working in the mines. And being but, lazy, that does, but, you know. She's already providing better health care. She's told us where we get to live. When did your employer ever do that? I mean, mine told me to just stay in the mine and never sleep. So uh -huh. that's effectively uh -huh. living there. Now you can that's, sleep and see the stars. It's head. romantic. It's beautiful. Let's do this. That's true. I have oftentimes looked forward to staring at the stars romantically with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Why do you think I rode your back? I wanted to be close to you. No. Gonna put a pin in that. <laughs> I feel like I'm really third wheeling now. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you're our chaperone. You stick around. <laughs> you're the responsible adult in the room. <laughs> we can't. We can't do this without you. So um, I'm gonna. I would like to collect oil if I can somewhere. Or wonder if there's oil at this guy's house. This guy's rich. He's got oil. He's got his own oil. What rich guy in this world doesn't have a ton of oil? It's not a thing. So we'll go into this rich guy's house. We're going to take some of his oil. We'll burn it down. But maybe we'll kill Maybe we'll kill him first. Well, yeah, we've got to take his head. So I think... We start the fire. We kill him. We make right. sure the fire's good. Exactly. We bail. We start the fire. He's going to run out of the house. Give him the chop. Like, as he's running out would be perfect. He wouldn't see it coming. And then we make sure the fire finishes off its job. I may or may not go in there and get the gold. Depending on how, <laughs> you far, do you. Depending on how far along the fire is. You do you. And uh, we walk away. Fire blazing in the background. 
Sound All like right. a plan? I'm in. Wanna, Let's do or, it. Or do we want to do call for help? <laughs> <laughs> you mean God. get help? Yeah, yeah. Get I help. can do get help. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's do get help. Hey, we need you to come along still. We're going to do get help. <laughs> As I said, I will respectfully watch from a distance. <laughs> no, I'm you interested. Punch, punch, punch. <laughs> get help. This, man, this person needs assistance. I've already proven I can pick this guy up. So, <laughs> All right, so what is your all's plan? <laughs> I'm going to pick up Rage and do Get Help. Because there's case law, I can pick up Rage. You can pick up Rage. So you guys are going to go uh, pick up Rage and yell to the house on the hill for help? I'm covered in wolf blood. I'm just going to lay limply on over... <laughs> over you sent us on a fool's errand. You need to help him. Give us He's those magical dying. healing plants. <laughs> Do you have any smart dogs or friendly dogs? <laughs> I could use this a third time today. <laughs> All right. So you guys are going to uh, back into the town. Uh, Winlin is keeping their distance. Yep. Uh, like a vulture, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and now we don't have a chaperone. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> We'll we'll hear. I'm I'm sure they're close enough nearby that they can backseat drive. I'm sure they're keeping yeah, within that you. distance. <laughs> See? See? All right. Well, Why did you try get help? There were better decisions. What's wrong with you? Let's see how this all plays out. Winland, you get a very good like you're. She's far enough away that you can kind of see everything kind of playing out, but. Most people won't think. I mean, you, people won't think you're involved with this. So you you see uh, Woody holding uh, the now bloody Dre, uh, yelling, "Get help!" to this ostentatious mansion upon the hill, uh, out just clearly flaunting the wealth compared to the shanty town below. Uh, it, you guys are just yelling, "Get uh, help! Help!" Right. Yes, but as as a player, I'd like to point out that I absolutely love that our spectator character is eating popcorn. I yeah, love that. <laughs> I love that. Definitely on theme. Uh, yes, yeah, so... I'm just I'm picking at some trail rations, you know. <laughs> you you got the trail mix. I asked for yeah. it. You got it. Sorry. <laughs> when you're done, you can have some trail mix. Okay. Get help! <laughs> Get help! It's my brother. He's dying. You sent us on a fool's errand. Look at all this blood on him. Only some of it's mine. Get help. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you see a window, kind of a blind, like a, a curtain move from the window briefly. And they go back into place. Uh, and a moment later, you see a human uh, man in kind of a well-to-do looking tunic. Uh, you, who's probably the one that gestured you in earlier. Uh, and he's yelling. Uh, he comes out, and as you all are yelling, help, help. Uh, he goes, uh, our master warden would please like you guys to keep it down. Uh, he is glad to see that you all made it back. But he doesn't see a sapling, the golden sapling with you. Um, so, I feel like our business is done here. Uh, we wish you a good day it. and good fortune. A friend has my, it. My limp won't. body is now going to just pick up the warhammer and crack him over the head. I will, <laughs> as they I'm as they answer the, the door. I throw him at the uh, at the. Oh my actually, Lord. no. I, I think I would first ask, well, I would probably say, where's your warden? Because I'm wondering, this guy might have made the chicken. I might want to bring him with me <laughs> or keep tabs on him. Seems like a good dude. Makes good chicken. Always trust a chef. Uh, well, so both you two roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh, and numbers will matter here to see who does. does uh, happens first? Do you roll smash him or do you ask about the chicken? <laughs> I got a uh, five. Oh, I asked him how if he made the chicken, because I got a two out of twelve. 
right. And so uh, you, you, you see Dre reaching for his hammer, but luckily you're able to ask this very pertinent question apparently first. Where's the warden? <laughs> Did you make the chicken? <laughs> My God. No, I, I did not make the chicken. The warden is indisposed. We need uh, him. We need him. Take me to him right now. Okay, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, okay. You whack him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, uh, roll me some damage. You probably should have killed him one hit. Night. You smash through him uh, fairly easily. Uh, <laughs> But, Why did I roll the nine on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> you just hear that. From when? <laughs> but you also hear, uh, as you kind of hear a yelling within the house, uh, and then a moment later, a horn blare. What do you guys do? I should have let the house on fire first. <laughs> Uh, rush inside and find the the, the guy, find the yeah. warden. I uh, I want to look. I rush inside and I want to look around the room and see if anything looks like if I knocked it over, it might start a fire. Like, are there any lamps or candles lit, or is there like, <coughs> is the stove a fo- a gas stove or like? Just try and are there any that Zippo out. lighters anywhere, perhaps? <laughs> I that would know. come in really handy if there's a Zippo Space somewhere. To, to I take a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, are there any cigarettes <laughs> lying around? <laughs> yeah, so you I, uh, you two run into the home, uh, and Winland, you see all this going down. You see the poor servant get smashed. These two run out of the house. The horn blare, but you also see three men start to run full tilt towards the house on the hill. Oh. From uh, kind of coming from the direction of the mines, uh, one of these men has a short sword on his side. Another has a short bow, uh, and they are just hauling towards this house on the hill. Are, do they look like guards? Uh, you you uh, probably surmise these are probably usually used to guarding the mines, but they are coming with haste towards uh, the, the, their the house on this hill. <laughs> I'll just say in the direction of the house. Um, and I'm trying to basically, I'm going to call out to the guards, but basically just say like, guards, guards. Oh, something's happening over there. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> trying to just really yell at like, the guard part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guards. <laughs> and then I'll just point over to like the unconscious body. I'm like, wow, I don't know. Something's happening. That body's not <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> I guess in a certain sense. Uh, but yeah, so uh, give me I, it a. It doesn't look conscious. <laughs> well, actually, there's no checking. You can definitely yell that out. Uh, you see them. You see them look at you, and I'm you know, like, they, they kind of have like that. They, yeah, things are happening right now. <laughs> uh, but they, they kind of they, they kind of give a short nod uh, and continue towards the house. You two do hear guards, guards, uh, as Winland <laughs> yells that out. Uh, but you do see, uh, as you kind of enter the kind of the, the front room of the house, there is a large fireplace in the back with a roaring flame. What do you guys do? You burn the house down. I'm going to talk to the guards. No, we She's burn the house down. Talk. You got to find the ward. The warden, let's go. Okay, okay, but I'll talk to the guards when we get back. So I, uh, I, 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 I tell him, I, I assume you go start the fire and I go start charging for the warden. Yeah, I take him up my 10 foot pole that's inconspicuously been tucked on the back of my uh, pack this whole time and <laughs> proceed to just start knocking wood out of the fireplace just all over, like try to get burning bits of coal everywhere so there's fabric to just start stuff on fire grab like some random book off the shelf and just start it up and just chuck it somewhere that sort of thing an encyclopedia no one will ever read this just throw it in 
Well, yeah, yeah. you knock those fl uh, flames and kind of pieces of fire out, and you do start to see a roaring blaze uh, kind of start to envelop the room uh, as the three guards enter into the house upon the hill. Uh, but we're going to shift over to uh, to Woody. Woody, you do make your way upstairs. Uh, and you see the warden uh, next to uh, two servants. Uh, and you see the servants kind of shakily holding knives uh, pointed at you as well. They're kind of dressed in the same finery uh, that the, the one you encountered downstairs was. Uh, and you see the warden look back at you. What the hell are you doing? I sent you guys out there just to get the, the golden sap and you come back and stick, uh, kill my guy and uh, you just come out here yelling stuff and yelling help. And what are, what are you doing? One, it's been six seconds. I find it very unlikely he knows we killed his guard. That seems oh. that seems to be pushing the envelope of realism just a little Apparently, bit. Apparently, they haven't I think he's blow the horn. I don't know if it's been six seconds. <laughs> you had to move, maneuver through the house, right? Oh, fine. Uh, so... I wander upstairs. I, I head upstairs with with great haste, and I um, I don't look at the warden. I look at the two servants next to him, and I say, "Great men, we are held down by men like this, a man who steals wood that is not his own." Turn on him and take what has been taken from you. Labor is entitled to all it creates. All right, give me the will save. I would have just gone. I'm not here for you. The house is on fire. Get out. But <laughs> I, uh, I think I've proven I am regularly trying to inspire people <laughs> because I'm respected. Even though I've been abandoned, <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh, damn it, that is a sixteen over fifteen. See, should have gone with my wild. So close. <laughs> yeah, you see, they they look scared, especially as you'd say, take back the wood and uh, <laughs> the the mice <laughs> braids all over the floor outside. Uh, there, you see, like they're still shaking, hold of their knives out at you, uh, and you see the ward like. These are my people. Just, just, just go. Just go. Oh, I kill him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, sweet. So we've got upstairs Woody uh, with two servants uh, and the warden, uh, and the downstairs uh, Dre with the three guards. Uh, and Winland watching this all from a safe distance. <laughs> the smart one. Uh, the smart They're really gonna, really gonna kick it in there. I say to myself. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing great. I'm sure. I made the good decision here. It's going exactly as I planned it would. We've started a fire, and now I'm gonna take his head. <laughs> this is how the plan was was written. <laughs> All Everything's right. going according to plan. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Wait, so roll me a. Which, all right, it sounds like Woody, you're going for the warden's head. Yeah, I'm going to decapitate him with my halberd. Okay. Dre, what are you doing with the three guards, please? What, uh, what, what's around that's not on fire that I can use for cover? I mean, right. I mean, you got fire at your back, uh, thumb at your front. There is a chair next to you, but it's the fire's right behind it. All right, I'm going to. Uh, hmm. Can I throw the chair at one of them and still like attack in the same turn? Unfortunately, not. All right. Well, then I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Um, you said one had a short sword, one had a short bow, and then what was the third one? Oh, two short swords, I should say. Or short you could okay. inspire them to throw down the chains of their oppressors. <laughs> We're not here for you, and I don't want to do this. And I, <laughs> I run up to the first one, the, the closest short sword to me. Well, perfect. Well, give, both of you guys give me dexterity saving throws. 
Uh, 20 on mine. All right, you'll be going after. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that is a fail for me. Yep, that's a 14 over 12, so I'll be going after as well. I can only assume the servants heard my message and will stab this man, this <laughs> terrible man. Yeah, you see the servants kind of shakily just kind of running at you with their knives, and they are going to roll their d4s with disadvantage. That was a four out of three. Uh, first one stabs into you, uh, it pierces it deep for three damage. Quick question mm-hmm. We did a short rest earlier. How much did we heal from that? Uh, you get your full HP back, but you don't get anything in the premier ability score. Okie dokie. Uh, second one is going to stab, and that one just does one, uh, as uh, he's a little bit too shaky on the draw. Okay, well, my armor should have taken the three down to one. All right. And if the other one only did one, then I would say it did zero. So I, sh- I should be okay. I'm, at, I'm back up to four HP. Perfect. And the ones below... Uh, you see one draw a bow upon you and let an arrow loose uh, for one damage. Uh, the other kind of slash what? into you with his short sword for five damage. Uh, the last slash into the short sword for four damage. That puts me at negative three. All right, so that Fine. takes on your strength score. you live forever. Uh, strength of eight. All right. Uh, give me a uh, critical or strength save for your critical damage there, too. That is a seven. So I succeed. You're still up and you're bleeding, but you are up and you're not unconscious. Uh, sweet. So it is your guys' turn now. Uh, what are you all doing? Are you, uh, so are you taking the warden set or trying to? I'm decapitating him with a halberd. All right. So no attack roll, just assume that I hit. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, my camera's... That went down. I told you it wouldn't last. Um, That's and that longer than expected, though. Yeah. Right? Um, and uh, that would be six points of damage unless I also add my strength score to it. Yeah, you just uh, okay. roll the damage dice. Uh, but the luck- luckily, the warden is not a fighter. Uh, how do you take a set off? Well, I... I... I try to make it a very clean cut. If possible, I'd like the uh, I'd like this tree lady to feel like she could put his head up against a stone wall if one were available to her. Really give her the opportunity to really bring the room together. So I, I decapitate him and uh, look at the servants in the eyes and say, I forgive you. I'm not dead yet. You, we can... This is fine. You know, it, I can just leave. And you can start taking all his stuff. He promised us 50 gold. It's probably more than he paid you over the entire time you worked here. Go, get it. You probably right. know where it is. Sweet. On your next <laughs> turn, you see if you can make a wills check and convince them uh, to lay down their arms. Okay, uh, next turn Dre, I will. you are up. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, Dre's going to target one of the short swords that did damage to him and going to try to whack him with a hammer. And I'm probably going to roll stupid low. Five. Which is still a success on a challenge, but it's not a challenge. So five damage. I'm rambling. <laughs> five. Uh, yeah, you smash into the uh, the guard. Uh, he is up, but barely. You see, he's bleeding and shakily on his feet. We're not here for you. <laughs> All right, Winland. You, well, you're not going to tell him about the the tree lady. I feel like they'd really like her. 
<laughs> I feel uh, like the really said too much. No, no humans except for us. So <laughs> if we bring extra people, they're just gonna die. She might like that. At our hands. You might also die. <laughs> Roll me a D twelve, Whitlin, and this is gonna be basically how the fire is spreading. <laughs> mm. That's a nine. Uh, you're... Oh, wait. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, we did. We yeah. did. So uh, you will... I had a terrible idea, and you followed. <laughs> <laughs> you see flames licking across the carpet, spreading. Uh, Dre, your area is clouded with smoke and fire. Uh, Winland, or not Winland, um, Woody, uh, you see a ton of smoke, the heat rising in the area. Uh, Dre, give me a dexterity saving throw as the flames lick at your back. That is 11 against 15, so that is a success. Nice. Uh, you're able to kind of uh, escape the burns that come from this rapidly spreading fire, uh, but you see the house is probably soon to be engulfed within the flames. Excellent. Dre and Woody, what are you guys doing? Are you continuing the fight? Are you trying to flee? Uh, I, I'm just going to get the heck out of there. I, I got, I'm going to grab the head and I'm going to bail. Guys, guys, mission accomplished. That's where I'm at. So I take the head <laughs> and I bail. Um, right. You're just going to try to run past the servants? Mm-hmm. <laughs> at, at, at least at least past the two that already stabbed me the ones that don't know about me they may be pretty pre rather preoccupied we'll we'll see when we get there i i believe in myself i have a rousing speech prepared they say you still have to roll that uh that will to try to convince the other uh servants you already gave that speech to oh yeah that's true <laughs> i believe in Is myself that... Are you running or are you convincing? Are you running? <laughs> are you... <laughs> go with, go with you know run. what? I already... <laughs> I feel like I already made the speech. Like I already gave them an opportunity to think. If they didn't choose that, that's fine. But there's no reason to escalate the situation. So I'm just going to run like hell. All right. Uh, Dre, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm... I'm going to. Uh, do I see Woody run past me? <laughs> like, do I see them exiting or? Oh, you guys are gonna do another round of dexterity saving throws to see how this order comes through. We're just figuring out what you want to do right now. Just... Well, that <laughs> because if I don't see Woody fighting or running, then I'm gonna assume that the fight's still going on upstairs, and I have to keep these soldiers at bay. This is all going to, uh, unfortunately, happen about at once. So you won't be able to... Simultaneously. Mm. All right. Um... <sighs> and as of yet, you've not heard me screaming, I got the head! I got the head! Right. Um, <laughs> you know what? Which can only de-escalate the situation. My, my perfect but lazy face does not want to fight any more than I have to. And all this smoke and all this fire, I think I'm going to take the opportunity to jump out a window or something and run away. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a smart decision. I'll That's give a you good that. question. How uh, high or a good uh, suggestion? How high? I'm probably up like one story, I assume, or like yeah, about twenty feet. So. Okay, yeah, that's that's a fall. That's a break your legs kind of fall. This probably Unless a you patio land right. in a balcony and you know covered porch sort of thing. Probably like <laughs> roll off and land. I might be okay. <laughs> All right, so give me dexterity the saving. Architecture of the of the building. <laughs> <laughs> give me uh, dexterity saving throws to see how you all act within this craziness. Ten or fifteen. All right. Uh, twelve and twelve, or actually, it might be twelve and thirteen. No, just twelve and twelve. All right, you guys do uh, get to act first. I uh, succeeded. So, uh, you're ju- are are you jump are you running or jumping out a window? Would it? I didn't say we cased the house, so I don't know what kind of 
what kind of awning there might be on outside <laughs> underneath. There is no uh, awning. Uh, the window you guys are at was the window facing the road, so it's a it's a straight drop. It's the one you yeah. guys saw the curtain move on earlier. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go back the way I came. I'm just gonna right. run back the way I came as quickly as I can. After I take the head, I can't leave without the head. <laughs> per- Give me a strength save to see if you can kind of bulldoze past these people. Yeah, uh, three under eleven. Hey. All right, uh, Dre, what are you doing? Um. Oh, you're um, jumping out the window, you said. Or you're... Yeah, yeah. I'm on ground level. I can just jump through a window and and just do a duck and roll sort of situation. Perfect. Uh, give me a straight save. Can I do it as Dex instead? Because I'm, you know, trying to be dexterous and jumping through a window. You're trying to bulldoze through both the window and these people. <laughs> you're trying. <laughs> Not an All right. Can I make an argument? That because the house is burning down, the strength save is actually easier than it would normally be. <laughs> uh, ten over eight, unfortunately. Ah, see, you need that bonus. Oh, that was a fail. Yeah, you try to kind of break away from these people, but you see they kind of like block your path. Uh, it kind of just holds you back from making your way out the window. Mm-mm. All right. house is on fire. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, let's see if any of them do run. I'll roll some checks to see if they're willing to take you in. Uh, they don't know their boss is dead. They will uh, soon. Oh, boy. They'll see me running with his head in my arms. <laughs> They'll know real quick that he's dead. I'm imagining a like, Captain Sparrow run with the head in your yeah. <laughs> it, I'm I'm in one hand ahead of the other. I, I think I'm probably trying to treat it like a football. <laughs> so you do I've see got the, the baby. Uh, the one with uh, one of the short swords does run out of the burning house, saying, "I'm not I'm not paid enough for this." Uh, the one with the bow and the, uh, kind of hanging towards the door, the one that blocked your path, continue the fight, and they are going to try to stab and shoot you. Uh, three on the first, five on the last. <laughs> oh. All right, uh, let's see here. That puts me to seven on the first one, and then you said it was five on the other? It was. All right, um... That is going to put me to four at my strength now. Right. Give me another strength saving throw for the critical damage. Oh. Lucky 20. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh. So you do pass out uh, as these arrows and swords pierce through your flesh. Uh, but Woody, you are able to get away. You come down the stairs, flames wreathing the house. Uh, you bulldoze past the servants. You see uh, Dre on the ground, flames at his back. Uh, these guards standing over him. Uh, oh, before we do all that, Winland, give me Hi. another D twelve. For, or actually, what does Willen do? Actually, does Willen change anything that he's doing or, or she's doing right now? It's just, um, just, I, I mean, that too. how much? How much can she see other than the building being on fire at this point? I imagine she got a power. She probably see at least partially through the window. Probably a lot of mm-hmm. smoke and all that, but probably saw uh, Dre try to go to the window, get stopped, and then stabbed. Jesus, uh, I guess I'll. He's fine. Sort of come, He's fine. I'll come from my sort of spot and just start yelling, you know, fire, fire, get out of there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. I'm, my idea is that maybe if I clear them out, I can go in there for for my pal. But uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not about to wait until like five people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely fair. Give me a D12 and a will save, too. Okay. D12. D12. Oh my gosh, I got stuck on the corner. Hold on. Uh, the D12 is a four. And 
the will save is an eight. Um, I, my will is an eight. Is it? I don't know how that. I works. think you meet if you beat it. Uh, okay. So yeah, you all hear Winlin oh. uh, from across the way, oh, uh, yelling fire. Uh, you do see. Uh, whoa, whoa. Dre, you really don't see this since you're unconscious, <laughs> but you do see, a, uh, if you were conscious, you would see the guards do look quite concerned as they see the flames and see one of the assailants at least down. Uh, and do look, do look like they, they feel like they've done their job so far, but the flames do spread even further. Not as fast as they did before, but the flames start licking up uh, the side of the building uh, as well as uh, kind of spreading across the floor. Uh, Woody, give me a dexterity saving throw. Four under 12. Sweet. You are dodging through these flames as you run downstairs, seeing the two uh, two guards uh, still in the building, uh, Dre on the ground, flames licking into him. And Dre, I'll let you roll this. Roll me a d4. A d4? Oh, man, I have to open up a bag and get a dice out. Because <laughs> unfortunately, you can't do it. Well, flames. That is a two. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take two from your strength. Oh, gosh. Oh, really? I have two I armor. Thought... Does that soak? Unfortunately, it does not soak the flames. <laughs> oh, no. Does it get All right. worse? I am at two. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dre is unconscious. Winland had oh Winland's called and uh, tried to lure the guards out. Woody, what do you do? So I see. Uh, I imagine at the bottom of the stairs, I see these guys like standing, ready to come up, and also like right next to what I'm just going to assume is my dead friend. And my first thought is, now I can bring a cook, and. And like some kind of a guy who knows cows well, who can make me cheese. Um, <laughs> and so I jump over like a banister to get down to the second or to get down to the first floor, and then to try and jump through the uh, the windows and get out of the building if I've got enough time. All right, uh, give me a dexterity saving throw to see if you beat their uh, no their action. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, you see uh, the two see and you got you come down the stairs holding the head of their boss. Uh, one just bails out of there immediately with the fire spreading around uh, and looking at them. They just take off. Uh, one does stand by the window uh, and kind of like you see he, he looks between the head and you and just bewildered. But his short sword is still out. Uh, if you're rushing past him, give me a... Oh, did you fail that one, that Dex? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he's hitting me before I'm running. He's going to uh, take a slash at you for four damage. We are into my strength. All right. I'm oh, still no. at full strength, but we're, we're, we're hitting into it. Oh, then would you take a... I had 4 HP, and so now I'm down to 0 HP, and so I'm at 11 strength. Uh, what about your armor? Oh, um, sorry, yeah. No, no, never mind, I'd be at uh, 2 HP. Nice. <laughs> if you hit uh, 0 HP, I believe you uh, you, were, you would roll a scar. Yeah. Uh, which would be cool, but yeah. Oh yeah, no, scars are cool. Yeah. Okay, I'll take well, off my helmet yet. for my next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Well, give me a strength. Uh, if you're busting through the window, busted past them, give me a strength save to see if you can leave this house and Dre behind. <laughs> it's oh my it's God. good news. It's good news. Uh, that's a natural 20. So, how do I want to do oh. this? <laughs> you try to run past. Oh, this is the, how do you want to do this? <laughs> the most loyal guard ever. He pushes you back and yells, That was my father. And. <laughs> <laughs> pushes oh, you back no. as you try to escape through this hell house. Uh, Winland, you see two of the, the guards on the outside. One of them tells the guy with the bow that the warden is dead. Those two guards just 
kind of shrug and leave. But the Jeez. one on the inside is trying to avenge his father, uh, who he's his who he's was his bastard child. You probably surmise. Uh, oh, now we have something in common. You've been disowned. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Woodland, give me a one last D12. Don't roll an eight or higher. That's probably okay. that's better. I will not roll an eight or higher. That's a seven. Seven? <laughs> bad, but not catastrophically bad. I, these rolls have been so high on this D12. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Smoke and fire lick through the house. The house, like Willard, you can see across the way. The house is like glowing. You start to see oh banisters Christ. collapse. Uh, the roof holes merge in the roof. Uh, it's it's a grisly scene. And unfortunately, your your uh, your friends or this your companions, I'll say, are still <laughs> yeah downgraded. <doing> so. <laughs> All right. Woody, you are still up. You're still awake. Give me a dexterity save. Oh, give me two dexterity saving throws. First one for the flames. Second one to see if you act first. Okay, so um, I I need I need to make a pit. Well, first is an eleven out of uh, twelve. So that's Good. a success. That's I I'm fine you with dodge the flames. I'm, I'm dodge the flames. Um, and then the next one is a fail, 16, 16 over 12. All right. I had a case to make, but it was the other way around. Oh, so no. You see tears streaming from his eyes as this disowned or this son from a unfortunate family just swings his blade at you with reckless abandon, the house burning down around him, catching fire to his own cloak as he fights for five damage as he cuts into you. All right, so then uh, I'm at zero HP and uh, ten strength because Maybe five would come down to three. Strength saving throw. Okay. Ten or below. How do you want to do this? Oh no! Oh no! All right. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hope you, this got a lot <laughs> sillier and then deadlier. Uh, then I, this, this was not according to plan. I'll say for how I picked this adventure going, but it'll be interesting. This plays out interesting to say. Uh, so, yeah, you. S I have done my job then. <laughs> <laughs> this guard who just lost his poor father stabs into you uh, and as he does with dre on the ground the smoke filling the house fire spreading around the home collapses upon you the flame still burning burning up the wood that was stolen from the sanctuary stolen from the lady and goddess of the woods uh Unfortunately, consuming Dre and Woody as almost like their own funeral prior, uh, as they had brought justice to the warden who had stolen the stolen the resources of the forest, but also doomed themselves in the process. And Winlin was able to Winlin, Winlin made a play and is able to see all this take place. And adventure another day. <laughs> yeah, I can't just it, like uh... last time. Just like last time, I feel as though this is partially my fault, but uh, I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> they probably got out the other door. <laughs> Clearly, the mine is going to need a new warden. <laughs> yes. Oh. Build your own house on the hill. <laughs> it'll be but, cursed because where I died, my curse extend it was extended. <laughs> The house, the well, the burning house is a poltergeist now. There you and, go. And my dying thoughts, as I laid collapsed on the ground, breathing in smoke and slowly dying of inhalation and bleeding out, I went, "I can finally just rest." <laughs> you you get your rest, uh, and as the, the fire consumes you, both of you two hear the voice in your head again. It is as. Thank you for killing the one who killed our children. Go to your rest, knowing you've earned the favor of the lady in the woods. 
Damn. <laughs> when did you do not hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where we'll wrap up the adventure. Uh, yeah, definitely did not expect it to go that way, but uh, yeah. It was <laughs> sweet. Uh, oh, yeah. Thanks, Mac. Max. Well, let's check out the black. I, I've not heard. Have you guys heard of Black Sword? Black Sword hat? Uh, one of the people in chat recommended it. I'll have to take a look at that one. Uh, so, yeah, we'll check that out. Uh, Cairns, one of my favorite one shot ones. And if there's a hat to it, we'll have to give that a go, too. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that's uh, thanks for joining us for the adventure. Uh, definitely make sure to come through for our Champions game on the 25th. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for more videos on Champions. Hope to have one up tomorrow ish. Uh, so, stay tuned on that side. But, yeah, we'll wrap it up here and hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you all next time.